know, in hindsight, I probably should put a tree in the uh, starting screen. Mm, trees. Hey, sweet bliss. So did we ever get an explicit yes from Letty? He responded about the staff. That's probably good enough. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, he would have said something like, can't make it. Mom's beating up the sock. He's normally pretty good about telling us when he can't make it. Fantasizing over femboy uh, <laughs> dancers. He could be doing that. That is that is true. You never know. I or would not ads. put it past him. Honestly, uh, every time I assume Sleepless can't make it, it's because uh, he is dreaming about his characters come gutters Jesus <laughs> yeah. sadly most of my issues are all more realistic stuff like dealing with my broken fucking appliances shitty house just make a new one there's snow everywhere come on you know Ingenuity. what? There actually is snow on the ground. <laughs> Fucking god, it's cold now. God, that thing is broken. Gets mad because you get beat up by a coffin in your own PvP choice. Okay. <laughs> this is what I get for not being high, Letty. The one time I'm not baked, I get punched. Can I believe? What's the server info? It's not up yet. Okay. So, I started reading this new manhwa, and it's I'm only like three chapters in, but it's really fucking interesting. It's called Hero Has Returned. It's about a guy. You, that gets guide. What? You just started re reading more stuff? What's wrong with yes. you? Yes. Yes, I do that. So it's about a guy who gets isekai and uh, kills the demon king in his world. Blah, 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 blah. That's like the first two panels. 
So year passes by, and then he returns home to uh, Korea. And what ends up happening is his parents are dead. Uh, one of them died in a car accident, and then the father committed suicide because the son ran away and the mother died. Uh, uncle blames the kid. Uh, he's homeless and dejected. And just everything that you would think would actually happen realistically if somebody disappears for like a year and then tries to come back. That yeah. happens. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. Short story, dude becomes a villain, destroys half of Seoul, and then starts rampaging, killing everybody. So, what ends up happening is, because he starts killing people, more people get isekai and then they more people keep returning back. So, it's like a redundancy of heroes returning because one hero killed a bunch of people. And currently the story is there's a bunch of uh, heroes that returned that are now like mafia bosses of the entire South Korean area right now. Uh, and our main character, well, now main character, just came back. At, at, he was like one of the first people that got killed by the first Isekai, Isekai guy. And now we're following that. So, and of course, all their powers came back over to the real world. Like, of course, that's going to happen. Did do they all get isekai to the same world? Different worlds. Uh, so far, the storyline is it's so, like infinite universes and realities. So, so and it's like any Toyka novel. There's, there's an SCP article about it, basically. Because there are so many different universes, there are so many different demon kings that are trying to destroy the universes that are then going to move on to another universe as soon as the one is over. So what's happening is is universes are isekai people to save their world and then sending them back to their original world, which is all culminating in this universe. So it's like an isekai battle royale, basically. Oh, Lord. You said there was an SCP about this? Yeah. Oh, there's an SCP about... Um, infinite worlds and uh the foundation creating infinite worlds but now there is a giant inner universal worm that is eating worlds so yeah, now you, it's yeah, a thing I know of, that one yeah 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 so, I've read that so one. now it's a thing of the foundation now has to create even more worlds to feed the worm but yeah. the worm is speeding up and will eventually get to the original world but now it's just a process of slowing down the worm as much as possible creating multiple universes yeah, okay. and it, it was a thing Williams of, Polaris. and this is a thing of um, the foundation that was writing the article doesn't even know if they're original. There's the original universe, and it becomes a whole big mind fuck. But yeah, that um, that manhua uh, is very similar to a lot of other like um, Korean light novels and whatnot, where. Everyone gets isekai to another world, and then, oh, hey, they come back with powers, or they're just in that other world. Uh, one of the yada, big yada, ones. Yada, yada, hunter like, systems, yada, yada, yada. Like, Thank you. Uh, everyone else but me is a returnee, um, dungeon hunter, etc., etc., infinite dungeon room, etc., etc. But yeah, I might have to give that a read, because that seems like a interesting take on the list. Yeah, it's called Hero Has Returned. Okay. Or just become God. I think that's what he was trying to do when he started murdering half of South Korea. I mean, he could have just gone to... North Korea, I know, right? North Korea and done us a huge job. Yes, sure. but then when they come back, you'll have super-powered isekai soldiers on the side of North Korea. There's, not that, there's not that many Asian. people in North Korea to begin with. Well, there's an easy solution now. Just go Isekai a bunch of Americans, and then they'll have Isekai heroes to fight the North Korean Isekai heroes. <laughs> True. Oh, if, if, we, if we can turn all of Pakistan into glass, we can, uh, we can do that to North Korea. Yeah, what did Pakistan do to anybody? I don't know, tell the French because they were about to do it. Did you say hello French? I said tell the French. 
because they were about to do it. After the, uh, after they, they had let, uh, immigrants in there from before, they started getting a lot of trouble there, and then the, uh, what was it, the explosion? Was that the Charlie Hebdo? Something like that. Okay. But, France was like, ha, ha, we can just nuke them right now. Easy clap. I, I just instantly thought of that really old uh, Flash video at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. Shit, guys. But I am retired. Well, have a nap, as in fires and missiles. Service up. Nice. Easy four. Alright, I'll open up that door. We haven't updated it yet, right? Nope. Just making sure so I have to know. If there was, you would have had a ping that said update or die. And yeah, then but... I still would have not updated until. Exactly, because who reads pings? Yeah, I don't. Not me. <laughs> yeah, I don't. That wouldn't have saved a plus one to stab it to attack. That wouldn't have saved me. No, no, it would have because you missed by only like one, like twice. <laughs> crit, 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 crit. Okay, so I retroactively won that fight. Nice. Uh -huh. Hell yeah. Easy carry. It's okay. I still want a 2v1. And No, the coffin did. Wait, why yeah, are we the back coffin in the ship? Did. What? Because the ship's a part of it. Grow you... over. I'm so confused. Please. Just scroll oh, up. God. I'm scrolling. I'm still scrolling. <laughs> oh, this is character creation. Never mind. I'm dumb. Who put that dirty, that dirty hotel has been character together? Who? Someone in uh, Saturday. Night. Has been hotel? Yeah. Oh. Terrible. Oh, it's fucking musical. Yeah. Oh, I, I forgot to talk to you, Noir, about getting my wild shape stuff set up because I'm dumb. Just use it on annual companionship, always. I don't even know what that means. You, you, you can basically find familiar with it. I already have a familiar. That's Oberon. Also, aren't you Circle yeah, of the one. Moon Druid? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, that wild shape thing is really important. Yeah, I need to know know how to use it with my character. You you make the tokens, and then you, you say you're using it. And how the fuck the do token. I do? I don't know how to make tokens, man. What do you mean you don't know how to? It is 2021. You know exactly. I don't know how to make tokens. I just send images to people. They throw so back at me. What you do is you ask politely for the framework, and then when you load it up, there's a test NPC and a test character macro, and you copy those, and then you edit those appropriately. Or you just ask what? someone else to make it for you. That that also works. <laughs> right. Um... But you have to get someone to do it. I enjoy how there is a uh, thing on Dreamy Home, and it says character creation. Literally with a token for that. And everyone ignores it. What? <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain has come to a screeching halt. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? Nothing. No. Okay. And this is why Letty is currently covered in glitter dust on Saturday. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm a I'm a dwarf that now has blue skin covered with glitter. But why? Why? How did this happen? Fucked up. What do you do? Uh, I bed. walked into things and then I did things. Oh my god. But at least he has a hammer that has his god patron inside of it that doesn't talk to anybody else but him. And also a really cool fucking shotgun that has a repeater. Oh, that dwarf. 
Yeah. On my, uh, on my other game with uh, uh, came out. Hmm. Slab's running that one. Uh, I had my character's finger eaten off by an evil ring. I also have a daddy furbold. Oh my gosh, Daddy Furbolt? Yeah. Mm. Let me see if I have a token. Mm. I'm putting it in Homeland with the rest of my characters. Scott. When did Dreaming Homeland turn into the... Tr what the fuck? No, it's what? always been that. Uh, yeah, no? that's what Dreaming Homeland has always been. No. There he be. There's Harmon. You can't fucking gaslight me on this. Dreaming well, that's not gaslighting. That that's really what it's been. always been. What it's she dreaming? has two dreaming. She has two dreaming homelands. Oh. One is uh, this. The other one is that. She just oh. keeps them separate. Okay. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Just because you haven't been able to see it doesn't mean it hasn't been here. Yeah. Do you think? One dreaming stronghold could hold the power of two Nazrets. Yes. I yes. don't know. It has to be separated. That's too much Nazret for too many universes. Yeah, that's yeah, that that's that's what's holding that universe together. The Nazret. My head, my head cannon is that Nazret is holding up your. Totally. Uh, right. not... Clearly, it's clearly it's Zret. I don't know what you're talking about. See, the two halves of the universe are held together by that rat's jaws. No, it's held um, together no. by duct tape and sanity. If it were held together by that rat's jaws, it would already be in his stomach. Oh, are you going to afford duct tape? In between both Dreaming Strongholds, that's you where all the coffee you're beans using are. Dollar store shit. You must the into the void are. for the coffee boings. The boings? Boings. Boings. Uh, Why don't you play Grumble, Letty? I'm playing it on Wednesday or oh. Saturday. Oh, I also okay. played it for a training game, uh, or a test play test game like months ago, and I finally oh, no. was able to make a Grumble. Grumble, hmm? Grumble, Grumble. He's a Paladin lock, Pala lock. The the only dwarf I played was a really really angry barbarian, who had two pet wolves and was path of the wolf. Uh, Grumble in the living world that we shall not name uh, was a barbarian fighter. Hmm. And this one is this. He had a uh, a tool kit <clears throat> uh, that looked like a lunch pouch uh, that was technically a war hammer. Uh, but when I pulled, uh, I could pull sandwiches out of it and they fit any situation I wanted them to fit. So, uh, a... Phoenix's character got a blood sandwich. Nice. My, uh, my really, really crazy female dwarf barbarian was, uh, quite literally insane and sacrificed people to her gods. Wait, 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 wait. Others. Here's a very important question. Did it have a beard? Uh, let me see if I can find the picture still. No, no. Better have. No. Sleepless. Did the dwarf have a beard? Uh, I don't think so. Wow, oh, that's actually... Wow, that's disgraceful. You didn't give a dwarf a beard? Oh my god. How do I report you? Hang on. No, I just used a random picture I found. Like, I always do. I... Not giving a female dwarf a beard. Holy shit. I know it's bad. That's, like, a basic white bitch not going to fucking Starbucks. Mm. All right, so can't either be late or we'll be able to show up to two children who should not be there for another two days. But hey, oh my gosh, kids! It's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. Thanksgiving is in two days, not before it. <laughs> I don't know your time though. Thanksgiving was in October. Oh, don't you start with your Canadian holidays, you fucker. Get the fuck out of here. 
First he thinks these people live in a house when he lives in an igloo. Now he's talking about holidays. <laughs> I don't remember the igloo one. What the heck? He's he's Canadian. Yeah, yeah I just plug my laptop Canadian into the ice. Yeah. Canadian Thanksgiving right next to the Tim Hortons holiday. The Tim Hortons. Well, no, because Tim Hortons is shit now. Oh, to, no. be, to be fair, the only, the only thing... They sold out years ago. To be fair, the, the only thing good that came out of Canada was Tim Hortons. And then they fucking sold... Oh, whoa, 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 hold up. You heard me. Also wow. Jim Carrey. Jim also Jim, Jim Carrey. Carrey. <laughs> Debatable. Well, uh, old, old, old Jim Carrey, yes. Sonic movie Jim Carrey, no. He was, he carried that. Also, the best it athlete to ever come out of any sport, Wayne Gretzky. True. Wayne Gretzky is a fucking baller. Yeah. Oh, maple syrup. Can't can't forget maple syrup. Okay. You no no no. Everybody no. has trees. No no no. You do not get to, of trees. You do not get to complain about maple syrup because you let it get stolen. Your only source of income in your entire goddamn country, you let it get stolen by a bunch of schmucks. So unreasonable. That's your fault. That, that's... You got that's not even the first thing that got stolen. Or the last. Or also, no. we're not even going to talk about it, but if you get too cocky, I will bring it up. You gave us Justin Bieber and Drake. See, I, 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 that's on you. I got that's nothing technically to say on us for making them famous, but they were birthed from you. I had another to say about Bieber. I, I'm pretty sure everyone in Canada has apologized for him at least once. <laughs> oh, for sure. But I, I, I don't know the opinion on Drake enough. Uh, he, he's kind of sus. I just, I just, I don't listen to his music, so I have no idea who he is half the time. People bring him up, and I just. No. Yeah. Oh my God. He's Joe like some R and B singer, isn't he? Yeah, basically. Joe, he, go away. I'm pretty sure he played on Degrassi. I don't what? think so. Yeah, you can come in. You can come in? Oh my. My mother is. So nice not opinion. in that way, but I mean my room. Nice opinion. Just one problem. I am in your house. Her name's Ab. They, uh, they picked up a stray cat on the way home, so. Oh my gosh. Alright. Gonna put a little casual sexism in the general jet. Huh? huh? Another. This is one tame prank video, because I've seen some really vicious ones on YouTube where they just beat the shit out of each other and do terrible I, things. I <clears throat> love the old prank video where the guy's like, he would like walk up to somebody and try and fight them and then strip down into like the, uh, like that was jackass. Yeah, one piece swimsuit. And yeah, then, that was Chris, that was Chris Pontius. And then and no, no, it, it, it was that, but it was the fact that he did it one time, and someone walked up to him, and put a gun to the back of his head. That sounds Shit. about right. That that does sound about right for America, though. You guys are always big on carrying guns. Like full on, didn't even know it. The guy just walks up. He's like, I could shoot him right now. And I'm like, honestly, you're lucky you didn't get shot. Speaking of jackass, aren't they making a new movie? Yeah. Didn't didn't some guy get bit by a shark? I swear that was a thing recently. Get bit by a shark? What? Yeah, it did. Some guy named Poopies. I don't know why, why his name is Poopies. But America has some problems. If somebody named Poopies is a star there. Dude, everybody's got some problems. Yeah, I mean... True. There was a lot of snow here. That is a problem. <laughs> Alright. So, on our uh, <clears throat> grand
Grand Adventure last time, you uh, made cocaine, you fought in the arena and got your shit kicked in by uh, a uh, 16-year-old. Who's using her dad's really, really OP items. Yeah, let's not forget the fact that two bunnies just wiped the floor with almost everybody. Hey, let's, not, yeah. let's not forget about that part. Two two bunnies did, in fact, beat the shit out of everybody. And, and the, then and the dog got power gamer right the first came fucking in round. with right. their pay-to-win items and then beat the shit that out of said bunnies. Second round. That's a second round, whatever. Same difference. Wait, no. Uh... That's a whole other round. That's yeah, like double the sense. time. Which, uh, un unbeknownst to everybody there besides the parents the two buddies cheated how you know, we were all within years. regulation i mean we cheated to, to be fair though you you did only defeat two people the the wolf doesn't count so i win by uh numbers it's true very true we still what? beat three people what are you talking yeah, about we beat, well technically four because we have to bait up a dog one two wolf doesn't count I We're bunnies. You, the wolf does count. No, it's a vicious works. animal. That's a predator. <laughs> you are literally elemental bunnies. You are the apex predator, moron. And still, you know, I did make that joke last week, and it didn't pan. <laughs> You're when the cat tried to predator. capture bunnies. I mean, one of them is a bunny on fire, right? Yeah. No. Wait, no, we're in earth. We're water, water and water. air. Yeah, yeah, that. I am water. He, she is air. Okay. Yeah, she Dawn's water, Dawn and then water. Dawn's air. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so form of cocaine wind, and then form of cocaine water. Yes. Yes. So, well, at least we know that you. Oh, at least we know that you can uh, at least um attack a city in very, very terrible ways by unleashing winds and waters of a cocaine. And that is how you get a bounty on your head for a lot of money in a no-lawless place. We don't spike the water supply. Yeah. That's how you don't become international criminals. I would never do anything wrong. And, that would uh, make me criminal. Get hunted down by the very people you call parents. <laughs> they wouldn't. Debatable. They'd hunt down the law and then they'd hunt us down. It depends on how much money we are worth. Alright. So. Ooh, last time, as you guys have had a full rest you rested you had a long night of rest and some had an even longer night you had received a message or an advertisement as you would giving you something very important which is do you wish for adventure beyond the reach do you want to find your place in the world and not be stagnant in this colony? And they gave you a location. They gave you a time. It is now up to you what you want to do from this point on. What was the location and time? It is the boat uh, that you guys came in on, technically. Or, same lo location. I didn't come in on no boat. I've been here. Yeah, I know, but th they did. So, I just got off the ship. I beat the shit out of some people, and now I'm getting back on the ship. A different okay. ship. A ship is it that... shinier? It does. It has blackjack and hookers. Oh, wow. And, uh, may or may not have a flamboyant pilot. Oh, show the way. Andrus, our pilot. No. God, no. What do you mean? 
Dan's just totally good. Dan's just doesn't have a license to drive. Yes, he does. He knows how to work a stick. Uh, <laughs> Dan went there. <laughs> Clearly, he's like, you know how on every ship there's like a woman, like a, a statue of a woman on front of it? Clearly, it's a statue of Tandris on the front of the ship. Very suggestive pose, too. Are you kidding? If Tandris owned, owned a ship, you'd see his, his face on the side of it. Yeah, and on the other side would be his ass. Yep. Alright, is there anything you would like to do during this time? Hmm. So, it seems all of us received this missive? Can, uh, uh, can I go buy some potions and a bandolier? Uh, with your gold? With my money, yes. I'm winning. I have 300 Joel. You have 300 credits. Wh whatever we call the currency. I have 300 dull hairs. Okay. Any anybody else? Hmm. But never buy uh, potions that I really should. Ow. Do I even have money? I don't think I got anything. <laughs> You should have started out with, like, 400-ish gold. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, I'll, I'll. Um, I'm gonna get some better armor. Because okay. currently, I think I have, like, leather? Maybe? I, I, don't, know, I don't know what armor I have on. Do you have plus two to dex? Um, what is my dex? <laughs> Give me a sec. I don't know. Um, Imagine not armor. already having two plus one armor items. Nope, my, I have a plus one to dex. So then you're not wearing leather, because then your AC would only be 12. Okay, so what do I... Probably wearing I... stuff. Um, yeah, probably. Are you wearing studded leather? Yeah. Well, they I think that probably would have killed you faster. You only have 13 AC. Yeah. So yeah, because... The thing about Ninja, though, is their AC doesn't normally matter. Nope. No, because they just wild shape into something with more. But I don't know how to yep. wild shape! Because you don't you make totally do. You don't nope. need a macro for it, you just grab the token. Yeah, it's it's pretty straightforward. You just I've grab the token, you this. like, and uh, you uh, slap it on top of yourself. Uh, yeah, and, and then... plus, like, the attack macros are, are not hard right. to make. You just do something like this. And then you're that. Not the goblin. Okay, no. <laughs> I was, I mean, I was wondering if that was going to be the What's goblin. That's <laughs> not the goblin. <laughs> no, you just pull something like Yogi. So is there you know, a pre-existing repository of animal-like tokens? Yes. No, because I've never played a druid. Yeah, I've never had to actually make my own tokens because I know better to play a fucking druid. That's I why do, I but they're on my other PC. I have them. My That's existence is pain and agony. Why do I get myself them. into these horrific situations? Oh, yeah, you well, gotta do this bear, like every level. And then by you bite, the... and then you bleed. Oh, nice. Yeah, you gotta that do bear this, is like, too OP. Every single level. Well, that bear specifically was a boss. I, I know what? he was a boss. What is an Ars Light Switch? I'm pretty sure. I just mean he's still okay. OP even as a companion. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, that, wasn't, that wasn't even the boss template for him. That was literally the one that they used to fight the fucking worm. Okay, so is this repository you have, Noir? Are these, like, meme animals or actual, like... Actual like, animals. Good, okay, cool. Just go with the cinch cow. That's all you need. Oh, my God. I don't even know if I can access that yet. So what you do is you Google search the best animal for your level for wild shaping. Stinch cow. And you pick that one, one animal every time. And you never um, ever wild shape into anything else because it's a waste. It's Stinch Cow and Chibi Level 5. <laughs> and then it's Bear. Mm. Yeah. Alright. I cannot, I'm never able to return to a giant ape. That makes me sad. Well, here you can. Just get to high enough level so you can uh, summon Pixies. What? Right. Yeah, when you summon Pixies and then they uh, 
Then they uh, Cass... save everyone into fucking yeah. T-Rexes. Pixies can use polymorph. Yeah. Oh. And it's oh, based cool. off of uh, the, the yeah. creatures, the target's character level, so they can target you, and if you're above level 7, you turn into a T-Rex. Oh my gosh. So a party of T-Rexes OP as fuck. Yeah, so, so how do I... Till the monster can fly, and then you're just stuck there on the ground going hobble hoobble. <clears throat> No, then you just gotta stack oh, the T-Rexes. No, no, and the, yeah, you just stack T-Rexes. They just fly away. Then you just send in more pixies and they cast fly. Flying T-Rexes. Yeah. Or you just you don't summon, wild what, shape. You summon, what, eight you don't, pixies? You, you just don't wild shape the sorcerer and he twin casts fly on two T-Rexes, so you have flying T-Rexes. Yeah, or just four. have like a party of four people. You're moon, right? Yeah. Yes, they can moon people. I mean, I'm pretty much... Well, then again, the, I am actually wearing clothes, so... The max CR you can go up to is one. They cannot fly or swim. Yep. <clears throat> Yet. Pinch cow! Yeah. Take, Moon get Druid that is fucking OP later on, by the way. They get to... Yeah. They get six and a half is their technical limit, I believe. At high enough level, because it's they only get the third. really fucking ridiculous, which is awesome. If I could get yeah. level 21, I could be level 7, which means I can turn into a giant ape. But good luck getting to level 21, because that doesn't exist. Exactly. Oh my goodness, cat. Why turn into a giant ape when you can just fucking turn into a T-Rex? Uh, I mean, sometimes it's fun to smash with giant ape, but... Oh my. You wanna smash a giant ape? I mean, more power to you. I mean, well, that's one I way think she could take it. I mean, you can be a brown bear. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Or an awakened brown bear. Oh my gosh, what does that even wow, mean? Wow, it's like a brown bear, but it's not sleeping. No. <laughs> Never mind. I'm I'm not going there. Slightly no, scared. I know. No, I'm not going there. <laughs> <laughs> You have what, 300 credits? Oh, uh, yes. 300 ish. It can get you a bandwagon that can hold two potions. Okay. And you can get. I would apologize for being a pain in the ass, but it's kind of my thing. You know what the best part is about having uh, all the old documents? The shop. Oh, you can just look at <laughs> Because most of this was, was made by Nerf, which means it's following his stuff. You could get four potions. Awesome. I would, I would do that then, thank you. Okay. Bruh, I'm literally a potion user. Can I buy ingredients for potions and make them? How much gold do you have? Yeah. Yo, uh, can I turn it into that? Into I have... A American blood worm. I only have 50 credits. Would it be cheaper if I bought the ingredients to make it? Yes. Okay. Um, Just is like, 50 credits enough for any? Because <laughs> that's still not much. Pretty sure an alchemist pouch just has shit. Uh, I do have an alchemy kit. Yeah, there you go. I mean, you'll still have to go grab, like, you'll still have to go get shit like fly wings and stuff. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Lace wing fly. Happen to have ingredients list for crafting materials. Oh god. Right. All right. Now, where is the bandolier at? As this is important. Where's my bandolier at? No, his. Well, I mean, clearly it's uh, probably between each boob. Interesting. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's between the boobs. 
All right. Alley. Anything else? Not for me. Can't believe Server it. Server died. No. No, it didn't. No one else connected. Just connected. Mm -hmm. No, just let you die. It's okay, we don't need him anymore. So mean. So rude. Sure, your internet just isn't breaking, Letty? Might be. Yeah. Hello. There you go. Hey. Hello. Welcome back to life. Okay, that was weird. Like. Hmm. And he's dead again. Hmm. Uh oh. I wonder if he's downloading something. I told him not to download that 32 terabytes of porn. Oh. But it's so tantalizing. How could you not? Uh, just don't. Right. Nah, that's that would make sense. I think someone wanted a wedding dress from uh, what Quinn had. Quinn had a wedding dress. The red done. Correct. The oh. uh, the flower bouquet. Mm -hmm. Wow, we have uh, a bouquet and a wedding dress. What the fuck? I don't know yeah. who. Uh, I thought it was either. Well, I think. Didn't Stone, didn't you want it originally? I, I can't remember what I was thinking about, but then I just took my broken OP coffin, because it's broken in OP. Yeah. I'll have to actually look and see if there's something else I want instead of but broken is, OP coffin. What does Cat have? Uh, Cat has two swords. Pair oh, she has two swords. That she yeah. used in the fight, I believe. That she yeah. has not attuned to yet. I kind of tuned out of that fight because I got my ass whooped. So. <laughs> yeah, that is fair. <laughs> I got critted and I said, I am done. I mean, that is more or less what happened to you, unfortunately. So, I'm going to point out that we actually somehow have looped into the proper timeline where... Letty got three crits in a row? No, no, no. no. Letty can't talk so we can talk <laughs> shit about him and he can't talk back. That's, that's the appropriate timeline. <laughs> this is the sacred timeline. <laughs> I'm hardwired into my router. I don't know why any of this is happening. Oh, oh porn, he's here. Oh, I am all in here. Yeah, but you haven't been. I can you hear it. you. You can't hear me. Yeah, yeah so you've basically been dead. You gotta I don't go know. to the room and turn off the porn download. I don't know why the fuck this is, this is like the second time this happened like the past week where stuff just slowly starts to die. Just the weather stop bad? the porn download. God, yeah. it's not that hard. It's not the weather and I'm hardwired in, You're but hard. I'm not getting the, always, but I'm not getting the speed that I <laughs> should be on an ethernet. God damn it. Your ISD might be throttling you. Uh, I'm, I honestly think it is that. Who is it? Spectrum, of course oh, it's Spectrum. they're definitely doing it. Oh yeah. All the time. I have 400 over 200, and right now I'm clocking in at 130 over 2 or 130 over 20. Does it happen this time of day, like consistently? It fucking spectrum happens all the time. The last no two days, it's done like that. Switch and be like, all right, you're fucked now. Yeah, they're likely throttling your internet then. How the fuck do I get them to not do that? You switch providers to someone better, God or you damn. call them. Can yeah, you... you pick a good provider. This is the only good provider in my yeah, area. Not when they have a monopoly no, no, no. on your town. It's not the only I... good one. It's not a good one. I feel your issue though here, Letty, because in Canada we only have three providers and they're all shit because they they're just jerking each other off and jack ah. prices up together. Can you get back in? Uh, let me try. I haven't tried. Hmm. You know. Why is the tree so quiet? My internet usage hasn't gone up. I'm talking to this cat that I found. Even since I've upgraded to a different PC. Did you say you're talking to a cat? 
No, I I am talking to a cat that I found outside of an Applebee's. You're talking to a cat inside of a cat? No. God how, damn wait, it. Cats with her family. What, how are you talking out of her? No, he, he's talking to he's a talking literal cat. He's talking about a cat. real cat. I have, Not a cat. Let, I, cat is a real cat. What do you oh, mean? Me? My God, oh, Lenny. Lenny. Are Lenny. you calling cat not a person? I cannot believe it. <sighs> oh, my God. Go oh, my eyes. God. The misogyny. The, misogyny. the woman on woman crimes going on in here. What? Unbelievable. Hold up. See, I sprinkled the woman on woman crime part to give you for you. But I'm still insulting her. Reasonable. So... Letty dies and uh, has to make a new character. Uh, <laughs> Can I anyway. can't reanimate the oh, skeleton? Dawn is dead. Just deleted. Sucked in the space. Well, now I can make the pun Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, you can. Oh, All right. Shit. So, you have got some of your shopping done. What would you like to do? It is currently. About eleven in the morning. Hey, you guys so, want to? You guys want to go help us sell USB cocaine? We have a route to go. Um, we were gonna go no. to the meeting. What are you talking about? So like I assume we all wait. received the same missive last night, promising an adventure beyond the reach. Whatever well, that is. What are you doing here? You're out of commission right now. What? I got fucked. <laughs> and. <laughs> Well, Hiding with his umbrella from his son. What do you think? That was extremely odd. And no, we didn't all get the same missive. We told you about this, and they're gonna come with us. Wait. Everyone got the same missive. Was... Everyone yeah. did, but no one else said that they did. So, as far as we know, we're the only ones that got it. Why are you not wearing clothes? Me? Who else is not wearing clothes around here? I don't I I don't know what these two are canonically wearing. I just see their fucking oh, probably space, space suits. Jam. I don't know. <laughs> space clothes. Uh, I'm in whatever futuristic oh breastplate God. armor looks like. <laughs> for, for all I know, you're actually and I'm in, in a fucking trench coat with a fucking hat on. And she's in futuristic uh full plate or Dude, chain I'm gonna be mail or anything. Fun. He might as well be, because if he opens up the cloak, there's just like a fucking line of cocaine there probably. Probably. It's like the kid from Recess with all the fucking candy and shit, but instead of coke. Exactly. Yeah. There's no bunny under there. It's just a singular line of cocaine holding up a head. It's coke and various potions that might be explosive and right. might and not be. Might also be coke. For re re reference, you three here have the same. Three? Ha yes, have the same thing your your parents had for. Oh, so we have those super cool shifting. Oh, suits. nice! So I can just look like whatever I want. Mm -hmm. But yes, I'm definitely in a trench coat. As, <laughs> as, definitely. as, as your parents and very much uh, Barbosa would have basically said, "Fuck it, you're taking it, whether you like it or not." I, I'm pretty sure Cat would have just had Andromeda beat up Alzar <laughs> until they gave it over. <laughs> you? What do you mean gave it over? They just make them. I'm hmm? at the coffin. Out oh, there. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that that I can see. So, uh, to answer your question, Elf Maiden, are you Elven? Look, at Yes. Okay. Yes, I am the right. highest of elves. All right, hi, Elf Maiden. I do not want to answer that question currently, nor do you want to know the answer. Well, please stop being an exhibitionist, because people are looking at us strangely. Oh, trust me. Small bunny, I don't mind following you around this for is some time, but... This is not uh, an exhibition. At least not as much of an exhibition as it could be. Gross. That is very disgusting. It might be a bit awkward selling cocaine with uh, a nudist being with us. That. I'm sure, yeah, you're right. That might scare off the customers. No, we'll leave that to I later. Mean, Depending on the customer, that might make it a little easier. Yeah, there well, are I a couple freaks out I there. won't be joining you on your narcotic selling expedition. Well, what are you talking about? This Why is on not? the way. 
Because I have no interest in being involved in your various criminal activities. What are you talking about? It's legal. It is definitely legal. So why is it's legal. Cat... It's just illegal to make. Why is the naked cat mommy GF not wanting to commit crimes? Uh, because public? she's sane. But she's naked in public. I'm sane. Yeah, so are we. Listen, I don't know why you're making such a big deal about legal uh, laws. I'm not joining you in selling drugs. It's I perfectly apologize. legal. Laws are meant to be broken. Technically, no, since now not. you're in this era, you would have probably lived in a normalized area where people actually do drugs, so this kind of hang-up is a little weird. She did not. <laughs> this kind of hang-up is weird. I grew up <laughs> in a wasteland of monsters and terrors beyond your imagination. This sounds like far Fallout. You it's know what's in Fallout? Drugs. It sounds like Mom. Stanko. <laughs> My favorite drug. We literally came from a planet named after a fucking 2000 century movie. You really think that we uh we don't know what goes on? Shit gets rough, buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Shit gets rough, buddy. The century 2000? I don't think we're there yet. We're way past that. We're like over yeah, 4,000. Way past that. What are you talking about? The century? 2000th century? I said the 20th century. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you said... 200th century. Oh, don't don't fucking mind game me. I know what I said. <laughs> no, don't you know. mind game me. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna change the title of this to gaslighting the game. <laughs> what a solid face. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> What'd you do today, honey? Uh, two bunnies gaslighting me. Well, should we get going or? Yeah, we should gonna... probably get to this meeting. I'll meet, yes. Whatever rendezvous you all have, I'll meet you at the ship. Now you're coming. All right. She means that nope. ship. No, I where's the ship? That's the ship you came right in here. on. Yeah, but it's the ship you okay. came in on. Fuck me and the ship I came in on. Well. It's okay. While you're the, while you're going back there, you pass many a uh, passengers and workers as they they're eating lunch, they're enjoying their day, they're watching space fights. Oh my gosh! In the Those arena, space balls on there. Uh, they're watching space fights. Basically, it is a boxing ring built into four floating meteors. They fight with jetpacks. Oh my gosh. That but sounds fucking cool. But it's okay, they can breathe in space. What do you for now? We go on to the meeting. Well, yeah, I'm kind of leaning on her flag, people. waiting for the uh, the bunnies to do something. We go on to the meeting. Mm -hmm. All right. Make your way through the <clears throat> streets area into the factory, and away you go. No. Uh, yeah, just bullshit her. <laughs> Lazily following behind because long elf legs make equal long footsteps. Mm -hmm. But as you. Uh... Oh, hey. <clears throat> You're already here at the meeting. What the fuck? Oh, are they, the, are they here to buy your USB cocaine? I didn't realize the cat was into that. Oh, were you just worried about public opinion on the eye of you buying cocaine? Like, I could, we can sell it to you, but no problem. No. 
Listen, you I... want to be discreet? We got you. I you do the little handshake it. like pass with the drug. Uh, I get it. You don't want it. You need it. It's, it's okay. We got you. Get don't get away about from it. me, you tiny freak. Okay, I hear what you're saying, but I also hear what you're saying. Wink, wink. What? The... <laughs> what is the wink for? <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You, I get it. You don't want the cocaine tonight. I got it. Okay. I have nothing here I can do to shut you up. Damn it. <laughs> You are walking around naked. Yeah, true. Hey, no one's gonna take you seriously until you put some clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you guys <clears throat> walk up okay, to the dealers on a nudist. Oh boy. As you guys walk to the through the factory and m make your way through what is essentially the elevator slash kind of uh, center of the mall where you can like buy the giant slice of pizza you it makes its way down to the port where you see multiple ships docked inside you see one with a title or with a little little banner over it saying uh, adventure calls with arrows pointing in like some fucking amusement park attraction what the fuck you know work for Beetlejuice it can work here <laughs> <laughs> and you guys find yourself Oh my gosh. It's the ship. You can hear the sound of people moving boxes inside. You can see they are dressed in half space suits, half just n normal, normal clothes. Oh well, fuck that one. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Probably. Fucking bloody. Oh, God. Uh, I'm swiping left. <laughs> <laughs> Get me out, mm -hmm. please. All right. So I assume we just walk here yes you can see there are places to walk through as people kind of guide you along into the inner oh. part of the city oh there's or other people ship. yes that don't have a token because they're not that important <laughs> so are they mostly you see this like here mm -hmm. or here or where here all right uh here and just have Oberon over on this side. I'm assuming the twins are going to share a seat and it's going to be cute. Sure. <laughs> what, like on each other's laps or just squeezing into the same space? No, the, the seat is just comically big and they're just standing on <laughs> ah. We are it's size small, small, so it could work. <laughs> True. Hey, were you the one that wanted the drugs? Yeah, we got a bunch of cocaine and we need a pedal. I'm... You're buying. I can't believe I'm the muscle. What makes you think I'm here to buy drugs? Well, I don't know. Literally everybody wants drugs. So I mean, like. I mean, not... Have you seen yourself lately? We're not really prejudiced. We're just, we're just out here making a job, doing business. Can we please get to the whatever the point is of this meeting. Yeah, we're trying to. She's playing hard to get. We're just asking if she You're wants drugs. You're not the one who called it. You have God. no idea what we're here for, dude. Hey, you? listen, we're the ones that got the meeting called, not you. We all received the same message. That's why we're all here. No, you didn't. Show me right now. 
Do I still have it on my hide? Yes. Okay, fine. I show it. It's gonna burn it. Where is it? It's the. Don't see it anywhere. It's a digital light projection. What the? What the fuck? You can't burn virus that. Injects virus. Oh, apple. I got twenty in. I can do it. Oh, lords of light. I burn it. Digital message. Okay. Just forwards the message via wipes the data. <laughs> wipes the data. I gotta clean the servers out. Okay, so I, now that I've shown my invitation, I guess. I play the heck so, um, like book. Ma'am, what is the purpose of this meeting? We are a crew of business associates who knew your parents. Oh, uh, they get it in with their mom. Okay, cool. Whose parents? She points to Feaster. Ah. Uh, okay. Why'd you ask for the other three? Yeah. Hmm. Because they're in your vicinity. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Also, your, also your own mother told us to get rid of them. They were causing problems. Nah, <laughs> it sounds like mom. That makes sense. <laughs> Wait, your mother told you to your your mother told you to get rid of us? No, that wasn't mean, my mom. They did try to kidnap me. Not in the killing sense, just that you were bad for business. Yeah, my mom definitely would have just killed you herself. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest, Pia would have do. It was probably Quinn. I don't know, I, I mean, think pretty nice. I mean, Quinn did act, Mom actually did just shoot at you, so. I mean. <laughs> that, yeah, that's that true. Anyway. Your parents were on a ship with an acquaintance of ours. A, uh, Annie. Aunt Annie? Yes. I don't remember her. Yes, most don't for that reason. What do you mean? I, I guess she wasn't important because I only really learned about Grandma and Grandpa and Barbosa and Riley. What? And he was thought. You might cut out. And he was awesome. Yeah. She was just giving us money and shit. She does it. She taught us how to make cocaine. Oh, so this runs in the family. Kinda. Well, I know what last name to bar passage to Australia now. Oh, yeah, no, I was just curious if I could, like, pull out, like, a blunted, like, ball or something and use it as an improvised weapon. I mean, sure. You want to do? Oh, perfect. Now I can I just have a joke thing be she pulls out whips and dildos inside people's. Let's go! Anyway, we sent you a message as your parents have shown adequate desire in their time, and we assume you have the same criteria filled. So we are offering you a job. Lots of money, and anything you find is yours. Does it involve beating the shit out of people? Sometimes. And I still sell my cocaine. As long as you're not wearing our uniforms, yes. Do I have to wear anything particular? Yes. Gross. Why do we got my uniforms? Well, what if... Why did a car just start in space? <laughs> Why does anything happen? <laughs> Why does the Earth go around the Sun? Because that's the way the gods ordained. This is a relevant question. Was that the only? Was I the only one that heard that? A car just started in space. Yeah, I heard it too. It was probably. It was probably just someone. Someone's spaceship breaking. Some fucking. 
The internal oxygenation process of fuel is, to is surely interesting, but isn't there more interesting things at hand? What I mean by uniform is something a few of you already have. We'll just stop speaking a riddle. Your spacesuits came from our technology. Oh, what do you mean? Our jammies we got from Moth? Yes. Oh. But, yeah, these things are pretty sweet. Well, I should yeah. say a uh, more modified version. Oh, we're getting an upgrade? Something like that. Is the whole boat great king? Hmm. But, the goal of, is, of course, we will give you room, board, and the ability to walk through however you want. Whatever you find is yours. So if you find something of interest, you can take it. Wait, one more thing. You gotta buy some cocaine. <laughs> yeah. We ain't gonna do it if you don't buy at least, like, a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. What, are we... Are we going on off worlds, correct? New worlds? Yes. We will be going past the reach. Do, do try it's to, sell do cocaine try to... to the people who don't know what it is. It's yeah, okay, customers. but I mean, like. Well, yes, but I gotta make money now, too. So exactly. Can we get we some brought all this cocaine as here. As to what our mission is? Who cares? At least you'll be wearing clothes. <laughs> exactly. I feel like Jesus the state Christ. of my dress is. Much less important than the location. You realize that they changed the laws and that all furred people had to wear clothes. Like, they changed that like 500 years ago. I feel being real weird right about now. Sit on that chair next if they don't clean it first. No, they, uh, that's only the satyrs. Oh, yeah, that's right. My bad. If they're not wearing pants, they're not allowed inside places. Do you see nipples on this? No. Yes, I do. Yes. Uh, no. They're going to use their space five. eyes to x-ray and see the nipples. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, damn. Percentage you actually percentage. pack it down there. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Are you rocking, like, D's? Double D's. Just smack it if you want. Anyway. I'll one-shot you again. <laughs> if there is ever a time when we need to <laughs> sacrifice... Crew members to some angry beast to get away. I will for sure be the first one to throw those two rabbits into the abyss. Well, we're gonna sacrifice your dog well, first. Let's welcome be real. to try. Oh, I'll try. <laughs> hey, yeah, you did try and you failed. Anyway, multiple times. <laughs> I, I'm the <laughs> one that grappled you. Yeah, and how long did that last? Well, to be fair, that was long my. Enough, uh... Long enough for one of you to shockwave me. Ah, uh, yes, you, uh, I heard about that. They're currently looking for all of you. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Well, your shockwave caused a malfunction in equipment. <laughs> you, do you expect that happens when you do magic in the open, idiots? Hey, listen, it's not hey, my you, fault that the infrastructure was so weak that a shockwave also... did that. You set off a bomb in a spaceship. Yeah, listen, we don't talk about that, okay? Look, that's that's uh, occupational the hazard. Full of cocaine. It's not that the the cat ladies eat any better. For you caused a fire in a sealed environment. Hey, if anything, what we did is gonna overall better affect that station. All right? They're gonna reinforce their walls. They're gonna get a better infrastructure. We're just doing the small work. They think we're heroes. Right, Don? Absolutely. Ah, uh, yes. Let's flood one town to make sure the rest of the country gets better sewage systems. Does exactly. It stop the death exactly. of the freaking town. You get it. Yeah, she gets it. You have a warrant. <laughs> oh, I have five of those. What does that I mean? have a ton of warrants. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Except this is why your mother called. Because you step took a step too far. Ah, damn. Well, whatever. We don't really care about the law. 
Anyway, you you will be going off world. You will be hired to explore any plants we come across, any wreckage, any how you say anything in space. Well, what, someone just scouts? More explorers. Okay, what's the pay like? You get a base salary of whatever we will uh, calculate. And anything you find, you may either sell or keep. Where Thanks. would our first mission be? Well, that's the fun of it. We don't know. Oh, we're getting paid to do nothing? Hell yeah. Wait. You're just... You're choosing us to go on just a random exploratory mission? Well, well, well hold up now. Hold up. We got chose. We just got to tag along. Let's get that straight right now. You all have an outstanding warrant, but sure. <laughs> you implied to. I have a warrant. You implicated. I, I guess to. I did make cocaine. <laughs> I mean, you did evolve. <laughs> you did That's try to you illegally need. capture two citizens. Yeah, exactly. That's and like you fucking... did cause the aforementioned shockwave by your actions. I was bringing lost children back to their mothers. You were kidnapping I mean, two children to public officials. You're kind of fucked. Definitely look more like not a public official. <laughs> Despite them being criminals, I think it looked more like a kidnapping than anything else. You just kind of ran Quinn up is, on two bunnies. Quinn, Quinn is hey, look, Quinn is the leader of the Rabbit Folk Union. I will have, have you know. Quinn, Quinn is by no means a public figure. She just pays the pl police off. <laughs> That's the same thing. No, it's not. Oh, boss, That's the same thing. You pay enough? It's the same thing. I mean, by all, law, by all rights, they shouldn't have to worry about that war because of their mom paying things off, but... Currently, as it stands, okay. due to your parents' boss and what your parents did, there is a station currently out beyond the reach. That will be our first place to go. However, it is four months away from here. Okay, that's probably no problem. Four months in a sealed camp. Well, technically it's about three years, but... Traveling with the ship takes it about, about four. Okay. Four months in a sea. Right, there's gonna be hair everywhere. What do you mean? We don't shit. Exactly. She might though. She's a cat. Oh, true. Yeah. Jeez, and she has that dog. Shed. Oh, I, I hear they have hairballs too. Yes, so is that thing hypoallergenic? Yes, I make sure my hairballs go to the nearest trash receptacle at the closest opportunity. That's still kind of gross. Wait, do you have a litter box? <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, do you have a litter box? <laughs> my god, you guys. I'm, I'm, I wait, Bing hold is, up. Bing is, I, just does no clue what's going on. She <laughs> just like thought about that, like, wait a minute. I don't know if you can see, but I am both bipedal and sentient. Therefore, I use the same bathroom facilities as you. <laughs> yeah, and from what I can see, you're pretty fucking stick. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't they have a collar? That's poor Tabax feed. Cat thing. Not a good time. I regret ever a... choosing this character. <laughs> You're not a runaway cat, are you? Oh my god. Yeah. No, I. Yeah, wait, are you, you people know called me. I when you have no run. meds? They. Oh, oh I don't know you. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> are you, in what? fact, a runaway cat? I no. met you like. Two days no. ago, and the first no. thing he did is trying to kidnap me. I'm a druid from Australia going to other just... worlds to cultivate their nature. Yeah, but I rolled high, so I had to ask. <laughs> Jesus. Australia? Yes, the planet. Australia. I, 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 asking a character more. I do, I do uh, know. Again, there's Here. space Australian. Here. She will, uh, she will pop open the center of the table here and you'll see a giant map. Hell yeah. And you see this. Oh, Apple. Apple. Oh my gosh, you have a cat named Apple. I do. Because I found her at Applebee's. Oh, that's adorable. 
I want a cat, but my mother can't breed around cats, so that's kind of a no go. So, this currently, I just found it. Thanks. Oh, uh, we're still loading. Hold up. Yeah, fourteen out of thirty-five. What do you do? To yeah, this I've map? never. I've, this is kind of a slow load. This is kind of scaring me. Yeah. Were you using dungeon draft? Nope. There you go. Dungeon draft is like way smaller. Oh, Bob. Scroll oh out. my gosh. I'm at twenty-one. Oh, holy, holy shit. Is the Ames Homes and Portals, is that the uh, Solomon's Castle and yes. like the whole setup? Okay. They are, cool. they are currently in a, what is, they are currently in a void of space where they can't be found. Uh, okay. Nice. Mm, planets. As, I love planets. As, that is their job. You are here. Someone's mic is breaking. So many planets. <laughs> now it's his turn for the not to die. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, you're a robot. Are uh, you okay there? Oh, that message was sent 13 minutes ago. Never mind. It's this cat. Okay. Are you good enough, poison? Oh, eh. Nope, he is not good. <laughs> see, I, see, as soon as Letty turned off the porn, you just started downloading it, didn't you? You dirty, <laughs> dirty boy. Sent him the link. He said, hey, bro, check this shit out. It's just 32 terabytes of midgets. <laughs> oh, what? That's so no, no, clearly, clearly, Letty sent him all the goddamn rabbit porn he found <laughs> online. Yeah. Three terabytes. Yeah. And I hit everything. Yo, wow, that's a lot, hit Letty. Goddamn. So, so did you finally finish the download? I did. This... Yeah. Oh, yeah. and he's gone yeah. again. <laughs> One day. Jesus. Oh shit. It's a good session. Everything is going to plan. Oh yeah, totally. Right after. Oh, uh, what color of cat? It is a tabby. Oh my god. Just a stray tabby cat. How long ago did you find this cat in front of the... Literally like t an hour or two hours ago. On my way home from Applebee's to get to D&D. And you just yeah. brought it home? It was... It's a stray. I mean, you, you would just leave a cat there? Yes. Because my entire family is allergic, including me, yes. Yeah. I like I... how my family breathe. My family's okay, not. well, you have a medical reason to do so. Yeah. yeah. There's no one allergic in my family, so we just you know, have to take it. Oh, lucky fucking you. Is everyone loaded? Just get yep. a yep. I am cat. loaded. Get... Right. Oh get my gosh, those... you're back. So. Let's go. Get one of those hairless cats. So. I don't want a hairless cat. Well, then, currently, you are here. Okay. You can just take the mic right here. We're off the grid, boys. So, this is the Reach. A vast space of unexplored areas and planets. However, it needs to be proven that once you cross the Reach, you cannot contact anybody else because it scrambles everything. However, due to your knowledge from Season 2 and your parents, you have learned that contact to the outside world is possible, but only in certain places. Hmm. Their, their theory is there are several black holes in certain areas that connect outside of it. Oh, uh, so some ancient civilization used that to download their intergalactic porn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. At least we know. They, uh, they're so, uh, in the future, they're downloading six-ass big-booty 
Mitch is three. Yeah, damn, they're already that far ahead in the timeline. Mm -hmm. But this is where you'll be going. You will be gone for possibly years. But it's a one in a it's a one in a lifetime opportunity to be the first person to find planets, make and connections, sell them cocaine. Yes, and sell them cocaine. As we start our opium empire in the co colonial lands, get them hooked like we did in Asia. Basically, the America used fire water. We're using cocaine. You do also know that Barbosa's father is somewhere out here. You're just not sure where. Wow, what a shitty etch sketch. I hate this. What? I, well, the whole time you've been talking, I've been using the ruler to connect the dots on the star map to try to make a picture, and I can't get anything. Good. I don't fucking teach you. <laughs> Just every time I try, there's just no proper pictures I can make. Just a bunch of different points. Oh, son of a bitch! I'll teach you. But, yes, but that is the basics of Mathis. You will have room, board, you will be well taken care of. Should you choose to. Well. Not really a choice for some of you, as if you leave, you'll probably be arrested. Uh, if I leave, my mom's gonna beat my ass, so I might as well stick around. They'll have to find me first. Also, yeah, I'm more afraid of mom. Is there any being in existence that does not have righteous fear of their mother? Uh, those that don't have one. Yeah, exactly. The way father, to really I mean, them you out. met my mother. She literally shot you. Exactly. exactly. I no, fear I your like mother. Her she isn't even my mother. Honestly, you should fear our other mother. She's silent but deadly. She'll fuck you up. I don't okay. Know, seemed really nice to All me. Right. Okay, was it Pyre or Quinn who shot me? Quinn. Quinn shot you. It was Quinn, Quinn okay. who shot gotcha. you. If Pyre did it, she would have punched you in the face and you would have just died. You Pyre would have, would have probably just killed you, I'm gonna be honest. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, you're a barbarian and you hit like a fucking truck. No, like, even if the first hit didn't do it. Just continue wailing till my pile of ashes. Okay. Well, well, yeah. You get that sneak damage on the first hit, and you probably just wipe out their full health. Well, not like your, their kids didn't already do that. Yeah, but it's also like a level 15 character hitting a level 3, so. That's true. I don't think they could miss with your AC. And they have advantage. Oh. Um. <laughs> So, as it stands, that is the offer. You may walk around the ship, meet the crew, and decide on your answers. Wait, are you going to buy the cocaine? No. Well, let's go talk to the crew. Maybe someone will buy it from among the plebeians. Peru! Oh my god, yeah, that's why we keep you around. Don't forget that I beat you up the other day. You only got us when we were at a uh, we were at a weakest. If we were fresh, you would have been down. Side Titania is gonna ask Morio Leona. Can I please take a quick look at your wardrobe, if only for my own sanity's sake? Actually, I don't even know why you're complaining or talking right now. You're about to get nerfed in the next patch. In what way? I'll still beat you up. So I can cover myself up with something and these children can stop viciously but didn't, mocking didn't you me. Hear? You're gonna get one of our special space suits in a minute. Exactly. So you won't be naked anymore in an exhi exhibitionist. What they say I is true. I fear I have higher standards than a yeah, wait. space suit. Do you just get off on people ogling you? What's, what's with that? No. No, I it... really don't. Wait, so you don't even do it for pleasure? What the fuck? Are you a nudist? Is that it? Also, I... uh, do, do be aware, as you are a druid, you can't wear metal. That's true. Don, instead of putting it in your mouth, show her how it works. Oh, uh, okay, fine. Yeah, you just do this. And... 
But 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 new outfit. Right. You watch as their clothes. Uh, the best way to explain this is. Oh. Uh, My dad taught me that one. The best way to explain this is. <laughs> you watch the outfit dematerialize and then come back. It is, it is form fitting. So, even if you, for example, let's say you're out shopping, you're like, oh, that's a cute dress, or oh, I like these pants, but like, oh, they're too small. It just adds it to it. For uh, my character, it's 100% Sailor Moon transformation, where they get turned into a silhouette for a moment, and then the outfit just kind of poofs into existence. Well, then I guess Titania will probably be wearing a ever so slightly form fitting, like, moss green dress. Hmm. Druidy? Yep. Flaps. Hooray! This will be after you are injected. Right, let's go see if any technicians need some cocaine. Anyway, while they do that, would you like to, uh, what is your answer? Who is she asking? You. And what was the question again? While they go try and sell cocaine and just suddenly answer, what do you two have? Well, seeing as I have been in a pan of metal in the harsh vacuum of space for a good couple of days now, I imagine I would find, hope to find some way to meditate and try to regain some worldly connections. What I'm trying to ask is, I wish to retire to my room. one would my room be? One of these ones? Okay, just just pick. Yeah. Okay, that works. Oh, no. What is that? To keep a door between me and the crack rabbits. Yes, there's a door here. Yes. Close the As door. the door will save you. <laughs> At least... Keep them out of, that out, room. out of mind. Point to that one. Mm -hmm. This one? Yeah. So will Dawn and Dawn be in the same room, separate rooms? We're gonna find out. Okay. Uh, there should be enough rooms for all of us. Yeah. Six rooms, six people. Mm-hmm. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny. I want that one. Ah, so if you create an uh, equalized yes. explosion, the cocaine will spread evenly. Perfect. My cocaine will go lab will go right there. <clears throat> that way, if any explosions happen, the cat has to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Man, it's a good thing they have a ventilation shaft. Oh wait, hold up. Titania is blissfully ignorant of the scheming. Wait, hold up. I changed my mind. No, <laughs> can't have that one. What do you mean? Can't have that one. Ah. I said these ones. <laughs> uh. Oh, idea. Yeah, I've seen him in men in black when they're taking the exam. Mm -hmm. And Kay oh, is fucking... pulling the table and it's very he's loud. He's doing the screech. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing the screech. Uh, Don is going to pull this out of the wall all the way back over here and put it's... it here. <laughs> It's on the outside. I'll go all that. She now we're clearly still, ripped it through the out. building. Yeah. Why are you pulling a kitchen out of the kitchen? Because I want the kitchen. Oh. There's another God. kitchen right over there. They can have that one. This one's mine. Much better. Yeah, 
Yes. Perfect. My coke lab is here. A little bit more to the left. <laughs> hey, there we go. Perfect. Bonds is going to start making food. Wait for it. By the way, these I'm are... Uh, start making more cocaine. By the way, these are our TV screens. Cool. Okay, Noir, while I'm over here doing nothing, could you send me up for those animal tokens? <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be an after session thing. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> it's gonna be like every time we level up, I love this. You should, you should mm -hmm. ask it before the session starts. This is what I get for choosing characters that are complex mechanics. Not even that complex. I chose Artificer. How much more complex can you get, really? You don't have to make more tokens for your actions. Well, depending on which Artificer you are, you do. I have to manage potions, I have to manage infusions, I have to manage spells. There's a brown bear. I'll change it later. I also have sigil, that's fun. Nice. Could you give me ownership? Thank you. Why can't I edit these macros? Because they are not set for this framework. That's why I have to change them. I'll have to change them later. Oh, I'll be like, okay. Uh, I'll probably take this one because he's a whore. <laughs> Literally. Man, yes. Alright, tree. What do you do? Uh, I'm just kind of looking around. Alright. Let me see what I got. Good looking. Through here, you can see a door here, three here, and a bath. A, a door that says bath here. Uh, um, can I peek my head one of these doors? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try that. Inside. Inside you see escape pods. You can see oh. they... You, you can look inside. They are spacious. They can hold about... Six people. You can see there are places to strap in. There are... What seems to be storage areas that say for emergencies only. There's always somebody out there. Oi. Um. Yes. You said there were items. Like, equipment? In what context? Uh, just like, like the weapons that we can use and stuff. Cause I assume this is where I would be getting sword. Oh. You just have that. Oh, I do? Cool. Yeah. Never mind. That's that's not a you came here and get it. That's a thing that you all, all already had. Well, yeah. Uh, never mind. And I will retreat to my quarters. That is not your quarters. Yeah, I do have it. What are these? Alright. All of you find your quarters are... You have a bed, you have a drawer, you have enough space to move around a table and a place to put your personal belongings. You can see that all the rooms are fit and set, or they can be modified for certain environments. So, if you are a warm-blooded animal, you can very much crank your room up to be hot as hell. Without affecting the rest of the ship and have someone yelling at you for touching the thermostat. Nice. See, I just, uh, I clean my room, 
because God knows who else was in here, and then I make my armor look nice and shiny. Alright. I start making my room into a fucking lab. Okay. On, on the outside, you will find that this is the mess hall. You can see where there are places you can either A, make food, or B, synthesize food. There are all, there are also there are also several screens kind of uh, either floating or hanging uh, along the wall where you can see news or uh, other small things going on around the world. You can also hear com commotions around you. You can hear people kind of moving crates, getting supplies. They are shipping out supplies or collecting supplies as the, as the Frontier Colony has and always w will be a colony for fixing up ships, making sure they are ready to go for the Reach, and also supplies the ships with what they need, if they pay. Hmm. It is also the only stop between uh, between the edge of the reach and the Galaxy Alliance planet. There are no like little substations along the way. It is a straight shot from there to here. You can hear. You can hear kind of like a, just looking out the out the windows because basically you have it. It's a tiered ship, so you have like this is the top. This is the middle, and then you, as you go down into here, it's that s second layer or, or that third layer. So this is below this. So, you can actually see, like, out here, along the walls, out, out in, into space. You can see ships going by, and you can see, kind of in front of you, that space kind of stops. Literally. At the wall. It's, you just see a black void. You can't see stars. You can't see anything. It's just a black void. So, during this time, what, what would you like to do? I would like to intentionally cause an explosion. <laughs> of course. Uh, I would like to know if this would damage my wall in any capacity. I mean, I have to do damage tests. I have to know how much the room can take. Uh, <laughs> also, would you tell me about this ahead of time so I can buff you? I would probably tell you about it ahead of time. I would okay, not well then... tell that. <laughs> Out about it and then not. I would quietly walk over and uh, would do this. Uh, you get a d6. God, I gotta come that down. Nice. Yep. Go Have fun for your part. Do this too. I'm gonna. I'm gonna watch your bed or from over here. It's just it's just a bar next to your phone. What do I need to roll for explosion? <laughs> a uh, an intentional explosion or a yeah. 
I am intentionally explosion. causing an explosion in order to <laughs> test you, how much damage this room can take. Are you trying to make it a really big explosion, or...? Uh, as big as possible without killing us. Because I'm just curious, it, are your intents for this roll to be, I want bigger boom or I want littler boom? <laughs> uh, bigger boom. Enough to where hopefully a significant portion of the ship will hear it. <laughs> Can we do this again? Don't worry, I got you. I'm gonna hold action thaumaturgy to make it louder. Nice! Oh, I mean, I could shatter if that's really what you wanted. That's loud as fuck. No, 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 it has to be the explosion. Give a. Give your standard check at disadvantage. Standard check? Yes. Oh, be good. Like intelligence? Mm hmm. What have I got myself into? Is this an ability check? Uh, this would be like you were crafting anyway, so add in all, like, all the stuff. Okay, so I get prof then. Yeah. And... Prof plus a 1d10, technically, or a 1d6 plus 1d4. And you said disadvantage? Mm hmm. Roll 1. Let's roll 2. Uh, it's sleepless and anyone yeah. else uh, if you go on dreaming homeland and take the skill check macro from uh, based that has everything including guidance for the new framework alright let me copy where's based at it's under character creation on uh... mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dreaming homeland Oh, you want me to just grab the, uh, the yeah. Aphelios? Gotcha. Uh, just copy this skill check macro. Yeah, I, I just thought there was a character named Base. Uh, technically it's called Base in the file. Where is... Which character? I don't remember where character creation... Okay, there we are. This one. Alright, so I just want ability check? Yep, just... You, you can just e edit it. Copy the code and paste it. Skill check. Well, I just impersonate your token, then I just yeah. slap it onto mine and cut my token back over. With the 16, you can create an explosion if you choose to fail. Uh, I choose to fail, massively. Okay. Also, 16 was a nat two, so. Yeah. Pretty good. Everyone takes six. Six what? Damage. Well, everyone? I don't know if that counts you. you or not. Oh, okay. I think it's everyone in the room. Yes, everyone in the room takes six damage. Yeah, I'm my thaumaturgy right goes off and it's a lot louder. I, uh, I slap my flag down and we all heal for six. And oh, you get nice. <clears throat> How did the room hold up? So, you know how... God, how long is this? So, you know how you see, like, an explosion happened in a contained environment, right? And you see, like, the walls, uh, bulge out, right? Yes. They do that, and then bulge back in. Whoa. This place repairs itself. That's fucking sick. That was kind of creepy. Wait, so what happens if I... She tries to smack the wall. That probably misses. Hey, lady. Yes. What? Can yes. I study your ship? Why? It's not making explosions. Because it's cool. It repaired itself. Yes. It's running the same thing you have running through your veins. Wait, you're using that on the whole ship? Yes. But the oh. ship is with what ship is blood? No, the ship no, is the ship has the nanites. L looks at oh. <laughs> I was so, gonna say. So what happens if you shatter the ship? Does it does it still repair? Yes. Okay. So just have an invincible ship. No, it's 
it's not invincible. It is set to be able to take large amounts of explosions and other things in case of emergencies. So, for example, just like your armor, it works, or the armor you'll get, it works like a second skin. So, for example, let's say you're shot at, right? When the bullet is intended to hit your skin, the armor itself reacts, similar to uh, Iron Man's armor in uh, Endgame. I see. Where it just forms and takes the shot. Okay. The only difference is with the upgrades you'll get is the fact that instead of the armor, in, in a sense, being on the skin, you can choose to have it be a shield around you. That is just on the skin. What if I want a weird symbiote-like thing on my skin? Then you can have it on your skin, freak. Good, I'll be Venom if I want to be Venom. <laughs> I need to watch that movie tonight. Oh, the first one is really good. I have to second get one. around to see the second one. Wait, what movie? What? Venom. Venom. Venom oh, too. yeah. Alright, that'll be the only intentional explosion, but uh, no promises about the future. It might happen. How's your uh, how's your lab equipment look? Uh, it's blast proof, so it's probably fine. And everything does happen, Quinn. Or not Quinn. Uh, Don has already started mending it. Mend. Mend. Oh, you can do that too. Oh yeah. How else do you think that we we uh keep everything free around here, at least low cost? Uh, with a variant rule, I think so, yes. I would say yes. I can also pull up Chronos thing and look, but I don't want to right now. Oh, I well, can do fun. it too, but not today. Yeah, we take shifts. Well, I mean, it's good to know that you guys share responsibilities. I'm gonna head back to my room now, unless you need to make any more explosions. Did you ever put your armor back on? She never oh. took it off. She just started mm -hmm. mending with it still on. She has the, the fucking spacesuit. That's her armor. Besides, if she were, it would have taken her five minutes and she would have missed the explosion. I can also just think her armor back on. Because she has the nanites. Is that how it works? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so can she just turn her armor into full plate then? No. So that's what I thought. Well, you have to have it first, I think. You have to buy, like, a full plate module or something. Oh, right. Uh, chips. Uh, so, how loud was that blast, anyway? Directly. Uh, with Almaturgy, it's fucking loud as shit. Probably shook the ship, I'm gonna be honest. Well, it's coming out of their pay, but... It'll, it'll be fine. Worth I don't even it. know I meant, like... Was there a lot of noise, or did the room prevent that, too? Well, you weren't as loud as you were intending to be, but yes. So, so there is soundproofing. Interesting. How do you know what I was intending? It's my ship. You're a crack rabbit. With Are bombs. you telling me you're listening to me? If the ship can repair itself, do you not think it cannot monitor? That's yeah, creepy, I'm not, lady. I'm not taking your name nights because I don't need you looking at weird things your ship already apparently is doing. Yeah, wait. So this ship just is recording everything? What if I'm trying to flick the bean? What the fuck? We don't look at you masturbating in space. Oh, you should. It's quite a, it's quite a sight. Also, <laughs> to point out, your, you know how your mom finds you every time? Uh... Motherly instinct. The suit you Fucking wear. Fucking dog does it. Figured she had a GPS tracker in you guys. Yeah, no, it was literally just a dog. That dog's a fucking menace. Uh, Don looks around to make sure that the dog isn't here and listening. Can it get on the ship? Yes. The dog can get anywhere. That's fucking crazy. It can do anything. <laughs> I, 
I will point out that your mother tracks you via your suit that you're wearing. Wait, can I also just have no. the dog? The dog was technically a part of. Uh... The dog, yes, the dog was your item. Yeah, it was a part of my item. No, <laughs> you the... never used it ever. No, the dog. I was... used it sometimes. No, the, the dog, dog... Was part of your box, right? Yes, the dog was part of your box. The box uh... is technically gone as of the weapon because you gave that up when you so had to stop Solomon. Technically, the... I could have the dog. The dog still exists. But the weapons and armor don't. Quinn would totally have sent the dog with us. So, these nanites have trackers in them? Yes. I'm taking the dog. Hang on, I'm gonna go fix that. He immediately starts trying to fucking take out the trackers. Government conspiracy theory like cutting himself. <laughs> right? Oh my Jeez. god. Jesus, they're inside me. Help Jesus. me, Lord. Injected. Get them out. The goddamn government's reading my thoughts. <laughs> Pulls out tin foil, starts artificing it. New magic resistance. It's a cap. <laughs> the suit. No. The suit just monitors your vitals and everything. So. The, so. Oh, it, yes. So it's not. You can be tracked if they really, really, really wanted to. In the case of the twins, yes, they're tracked all the time. But helicopter parents yeah absolute terrors <laughs> yeah that's because uh, you guys are absolutely insane yeah yeah the, in the case of the twins they are there they are tracked 24 7 for very obvious reasons but <laughs> they're criminals at large yeah but it but in the case of everybody else once they have it, it's there to mock your vitals to make sure you're okay and to to track you if you ever get lost like mock say your vitals wow i won't have my vitals mocked like, let's say you decide to go on a planet, and they have to monitor you, and you get lost. I'm going to find a way to disable the tracking. <laughs> an artifice, uh, an amulet of non-detection. <laughs> Can I artifice that? Hang on. No. I definitely can't do it yet. I'm pretty sure it's a set, uh, set list. It is a set list, but um, there are additions to the list that aren't on the list. All right. I honestly don't know. I just I know that's the amulet you'd want. Sarah. Yeah. As you are m m meditating, what are you trying to do? Well, I guess try and I guess recontact my sort of I don't know. I think it's about more animalistic self, the one that's more connected to, like, the ground of the earth and the trees and the water and the animals of the native forests of Australia. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm in a big metal can in the vacuum of space, and it's kind of disconcerting after a while to not be in connected to everything. Okay. I'm just trying to recapture that feeling. So you're going to avatar yourself? Kinda. Hey, Don, look what I found. Look if I hold it. <laughs> that thing is dangerous. Is it currently tiny-sized? Well, just for the purposes of the token, it's actually a medium-sized creature. I know. <laughs> I guess Mom really did send it with us. Fuck! He's gonna fucking snitch on us again! Why does make... he always have to do this? How will it snitch? It's gonna be literal universe away you don't know this dog we know this dog dog is fucking crazy like everybody else is from the queens this dog is from the bronx i don't even know what that means <laughs> it has a jersey accent right oh oops still have you as <laughs> All right, Sarah, yeah. as you meditate, you find yourself on the plains again, 
sitting in the tree houses amongst the large redwoods looking down you can see hundreds of animals larger than anything anyone's ever seen just running through the trees running through the forest you see apes that are, are the size of tanks just rimming off branches left and right you see below you see frogs spiders dinosaurs all of them rampaging through here you can hear the wind blowing the leaves you can hear the calls of the birds and the owls as they hoot and holler you can hear the streams flowing and the large bodies of water the th direction of water as crocodiles and sea creatures come up through the water, dip down into the water. You can hear it all. Nice. Anything specific happen, or am I just there? Think of it as like Letty's mind palace on Xander. Gotcha. My mind palace. Mm -hmm. Well, I just sit there and take it all in, just recharge. Really, just sit there. They allow you to stay overnight. Get accommodated and will allow you to think. Get your head in the right place because again once you say yes you're not you won't be coming back for a very long time you will be in the void of space there will be times when you don't see any planets any stars it'll just be a void of space endlessly So, over the night, you are given a choice of what you want to do. As the night goes on, you do your daily things. You talk, you eat, you talk with the crew as they eat their dinner and make sure things are all up and re ready to go. You can see some are coming in from, out, from outside of the ship as they're repairing it or helping repair it. You can hear them talking about wild stories of uh, things they've done. As this is technically where Annie came from. This is her home ship. Oh. This, this is the actual group for the Iron Valkyries. As you guys sleep, enjoy the enjoy the banter between everybody as they make stories. You guys wake up at about say nine thirty in the morning as the ship's lights turn on. You sleep with the sounds of other ships going by, uh, the sounds of workers going, the sound of space. The weird, like, uh, beeping sound of satellites. And you're all awake.
that Don is going to start making breakfast. <laughs> What's Don making? Bacon. Bacon, yeah. Bacon yeah, pancakes? Oh, you can. You ask. You gonna fucking follow me all over? Go wait. Arf. <laughs> it just floats at, 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 at this point. Can we get it to do like a deathcore like breakdown bark? <laughs> arf, arf. <laughs> 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 okay, because I, I don't remember. Is that three dog girls or is that just that actual cerberus it's an actual it's cerberus. cerberus i just okay. took okay, pictures gotcha. from yeah. Taker. i know i know technically technically it looks something similar to uh uh what's the word? Chimera. like fluffy from harry potter no it's uh it right, looks fluffy. like this Technically, looks like that. Oh, it's servers from Spine. Yeah. Uh, imagine not using the Hades servers. Eh. You wake, you find the crew is either sitting down and eating or they're m moving about as you uh, get into place. You, you can hear the smell of food being made from normal pancakes, eggs, and bacon to what looks like the equivalent of slop for some people. You can see various... Uh, people are like standing here and here. They're like watching the news or r reading something as they eat. S same for here and here. Hey, Don, breakfast. Okay, thanks. She goes and grabs it. Nom, 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 nom. She'll throw one to Zerbers. Are you lost, Tree? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I am. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know what's going Bing's on. Like, Bing walks out of the room and she says, just, just stares blankly. Uh, where uh, am I? When did the drug run off? <laughs> right. I think I remember doing that USB cocaine before we went to bed. <laughs> Why is it cocaine in the ventilation shaft? How much bacon did you two make? All of it. Oh, I guess uh, Oberon will go. All of them that they can carry. And grab like a smaller plate. Wait, is it all on the table or is it over here? She carries over her mother's weird tastes and pulls out a fruitcake from somewhere. Uh, the yeah. Where the hell did you get that? The Hammer Space Fruitcake. We, uh, my mom has an infinite amount of. I took a bunch. Don't, don't ask how. Why? Because they taste good? Do they? I like them. She shrugs. O'Brien wanders over to the barge that of cooked meat being made over here. Looks up slightly expectantly. Being with like a, a chunk of raw meat and toss it to Oberon. Snaps it with a horrific flash of its jaws and walks away satisfied. Hell yeah. Animal people. Uh, 
That is not something I wish to know, but apparently uh, you are eating a Mountain Dew flavored fruitcake. Well, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> that is wicked. Oh, it's it's a real thing. I just I just saw. Wait, no, nah, yeah. actually. You want to try some of this? Yo, it's lit. Man, existence is pain. Haven't you heard? And... It tastes like a weird soft drink that my uh, older brother used to give me. Yeah. What Fruitcake? soft drink is that? The no, dew. No, the <laughs> dew. Oh, I'm sorry. The dew. I oh, asked yes, the one singular do. Oh my god, it is real. Ow. Dude, this is awful. Mm hmm. I feel spoiled between this and the Mars bar. Oh, so you have had dealings with illegal substances. What the fuck is this? Mars bars aren't illegal. We all just googling Mountain Dew for a cake at this point. Yes, I already got. I already looked at it. It's awful. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's disgusting. Yeah. It does look pretty gross. Technically, Mars bars are uh, illegal. What? She doesn't know that. But why technically? No. no. Bing. Or not Bing. Apple. You fuck. Because they turn you into a shoujo character. The cast name is Bing now. No, it's Apple. I should name you Bing. Ah, so Bing so cute. clearly, when when she's oh, eating Mars bar, she turns into the uh, oh, scene yeah, character. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's really edgy. Starts uh, playing hot topic music. They're it's shown in character. The youth starts playing. <laughs> they're they're emo dancing. Hell yeah. Well, technically they are illegal as uh. They were banned a while back, and uh, most of them were destroyed. How you have one is a mystery. Question me. Yeah. But, none, but nonetheless, what is your decisions? In between chewing, Bing will be like, I like it here. Well, you gonna buy some cocaine? While she's sitting, she changes to her summer outfit. This, uh, I found this and I can't believe it's a thing. Well, I stay here and be trapped in a slightly large metal can for years on end, or I go back and get trapped in a much smaller metal box for years on end. So I'll take the metal can. Road trip. I have no use for your cocaine. I don't care, just buy it. She will buy one. Alright, good enough, I'm in. <laughs> buy one, I will buy one cocaine. I will, buy... It's a Mars bar. <laughs> I, I, I will buy one marijuana. Please. Only one? And thank you. And she then throws out the airlock. Oh, uh, they don't care, they approve. Didn't care. I'm not proud of it. Dude, that's also bloody. But what happened? Nothing. For real. <laughs> anyway, well, that's three of you. You two. Pointing to you two. 
Oh, the he done already, so he's in. Alright, that was about the cocaine. And you know our terms and conditions. You bought the cocaine, we're good. Alright, good, then yeah, win. Very well. It's not refundable, by the way. It's already out the airlock. Yeah, whatever. You paid for it. <laughs> All right. Well, is that agreed upon? Sign the. He will sign the waiver, and we will begin the process. Don will airdrop her signature. Um, what does this thing say? Uh, we are not liable for any injuries that you may obtain on this that are uh, deadly. <laughs> That's a weird way of saying you might die and it's not our fault. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> All right. Why don't you just signs it with one of the coffin palm prints. Just a, a big dog, purple hand print there. Now. Hey, is Annie gonna be on this ship? Ah, you yeah, know. Seen that a while. Uh, she is currently with uh, your parents and former crew. Though, uh, that used to be the uniform everyone had to wear. Ish. What are you telling me we have to wear our parents' uniform? That's so tacky. No. You will wear whatever you want. Okay, cool. Look for me. Now, for, uh, proceed. See your steak, you all need to shower and uh, get ready. Yeah, okay. I'll be right back. You are all pointed towards the shower and you're handed a bag. It has a singular set of clothes. More or less, it's just the underwear part. Uh. And told shower. It, it's basically like one of those uh, sanitation showers. Uh, one of the decontamination things? Yeah, yeah. So they can like, get you fully cleaned off so when they do inject you it's not like, oh god! Hmm. Alright, I guess I can handle that. Gonna end up like the very first fucking uh, Star Trek movie that they did, where someone's got their fucking space allergies. Right. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a reaction. Ever. The first reaction that bad. Oh my god, my hand's an elephant. <laughs> are, are you numb? Is my numb? Is your tongue numb? My tongue is numb. You are all directed to the shower area, where you find that it's a large open shower. It's got pl plenty of rooms, and it's split between male and females. The irony is most of you are female. Women power. Do I get a shower to myself? Nope. Oh, well, I go alone with the fucking vampire? Damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little bunny boy and vampire man. That's more of uh, a vampire she, boy. She does the anime thing and prestidigitates a, uh, a white light covering her privates. Yeah. Because we all clearly know that's how it works, right? Yeah. Totally. It is. As Obon is a dog and thus afraid of water, goes back to the room in fear. Yeah. Dog? What? Dog Dogs dog. love water. Cats well. are afraid of water. Well, um, shucks. Dogs hate um, rats. Not yeah, all but they, yeah, but they like water. They like to jump into rivers. 
but they hate bats because they know there's a difference. Oh, clean. Because they can't run around. But, yeah. but they see a fucking river, they're like, oh my god, I gotta yeah, run yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Inside. Total? Inside, you see... Basically, it's a very plain, like, bathroom. You can see along the walls, there's enough room to, like, put a towel. And then you just shower. And it has, like, the little middle parts enough to where it covers like from the armpits down and then stops at like the knees so you're like side to side so so yes in so yes in theory as uh, as male dawn is showering cat could be like hmm nice package I dick player. Yeah, more or less. Which so, what? Which cat would probably do? So, what's Maria Leona just doing beefy outside the door? Well, I mean, it all depends. She's just on, sitting there. She's not on his his metaphorical dick size. So I, I think yes, he, he probably would be making Damn, comments about it. Don's a tripod. <laughs> Don is actually a tripod. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> See, the funny thing is, I I did that role just for shits and giggles, and I got this for her. Let's go. God damn! I mean, this campaign act. is just high rollers. She she does act like it. So <laughs> what's the, what she's got? She's got the cum. <laughs> Gonna have to back it up. Exactly. All right. And basically, as you shower, you can see it's most of the water is that like soapy consistency type of water. So you don't really need soap or like the shampoo of sorts. It just cleans you off as it goes. And then as you dry off and you put on the things you're handed, she basically has in her hand, which both Don's and Salandra would very much know what this is. She tells you to sit down. As, uh, you're going to feel a pinch. Yeah, I've uh, already dealt with this bullshit before, and I don't really want to do it again. Never. Uh, my old nanites aren't going to have a problem with this, right? No, but you'll need to be injected again for the new ones to uh, uh, assimilate. Alright, as long as they ain't going to start like a little robot war, we're good. Nope, it's a simple frame framework update. Nothing nothing bad. And she pulls out what is essentially a circular device. You can see it has uh, a triangled needle. Or like two triangled n n needles in it. And for the other three, you can see where it's injected. You see it's kind of in the middle of the chest, about a couple inches ab above the heart into the blood veins. And for a second there, it feels hot for all, all of you. It's hot as you can feel your blood kind of uh, cleansed, in a sense all the like all the cholesterol gone all the bloated veins fixed uh, all your sores or aches that you would have had from anything from inside just kind of rapidly fixed so you feel warm almost like you have a fever but it's only short for about maybe a minute but you feel like you're on cloud nine. Afterwards, it's like being able to run in the Olympics without having any problem to breathe. Hmm. And then you find yourself covered in what Zero Suit Samus would wear without the heels.
you feel it tuck all the way up to about the middle of your necks. You feel it cover your hands and feet. For Sarah, you would feel it cover everything, including the tail. You can also have it you can also have it set to where it has a hole for the tail. Similar to uh, a fourteen character. Yes, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy fourteen, where the cat boys have to wear special pants. Yep. God, I hate their idle animation so much. But everyone finds oh. that's what they're wearing, and it fits. Less than enjoyable. I did not yes. like that. Is going Does it to have to be so tight? It will change once you've accommodated for it. That's normal. Oh, it it's tug as fuck. Like it's like fucking everyone has a moose knuckle and it's digging in. Let's go. Oh, I have to get this thing off. Comes back to a room. Yeah. That cat lady is really bad because of all the hair. Well, now she won't shit everywhere. Just... Takes this off as non damagingly as possible. It goes back to her regular no dress. Something oh. not quite so suffocating. Nobody. Oh, I don't. I don't think you can remove it. No. <laughs> oh. No. It, it. It will. It will come off on its own. After a certain point, all it's doing now is slowly getting accommodated to the body, and it will loosen as you go. Get this damn thing off me. Just think it away. What? Think Don, um, it away. Don oh. turns his back into his old outfit. Okay, yeah, I try to think it into that dress. This one? No, not her oh, dress. No, no, the earlier dress. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Bing will think of her her mask scale mail. Yeah. Except now the mask can be perfectly tight. Pauses. You yes, don't have to chill. adjust it anymore. I don't have to adjust it. Yes. Apple. Oh. See, all you had to do was think it. And it'll change. They're set to you. Me. I think I can make this work. Also, oh. as a note, do avoid getting knocked into space as they only have so much oxygen. We have oxygen. We'll try. As for you three. It'll take about a day for it to update and fully get used to it, but it should be back to normal. It's fine, I've been through this before. More annoying than anything else, really. Anything else, or... We uh, go and relax for a while. Well, you can relax as we will be shortly taking off. So you'll have to be prepared. If you want to say goodbyes to anybody, send it now. Nah, mom knows it's all good. Well, that I mean, or she's going to send me, me my here, so... next. Yes, well, it was less of your mother sending you and more. They didn't want you in uh, maximum security prison. Well, my point is, she knows I'm here. Yes. Yeah. 
know if there's anything anyone you would like to contact before we leave. Anyone important? Anyone special? Oh. No. I assume Letty is dead. Well, rest peace, Letty. Letty's here. <laughs> Love you. You're innocent. Oh, he's only half dead. Let him back. Back, back. Alright. I want to go get water, and then that turned into taking my dog out, and then that turned into realizing it's cold outside, which turned into me opening up windows, which then turned into me realizing I had to go to the bathroom as well. Nice. It's like a whole sequence. When it gets this cold, I like to open up my windows, so that way... Uh, what, in, what ends up happening with my AC is uh, it'll just shut off it's cold outside, which means my room gets stuffy. Oh, ah. that's, that's just the worst. All right. Letty. Yeah. You have been injected again. A what? With the same thing as before. What was the same thing as before? The nanites. You got an update. Oh, okay. You got drugs. Right. What did you give me? To do anything? New drugs. It just updated your framework. Okay, cool. Does, so I have the HUD now? You Well, you've always had the HUD. We have you an get, updated HUD. Yeah. You get the Windows XP version of the HUD from the Windows Vista version of the HUD. And now we're all in a group chat, right? Uh, technically, you're on Windows 10 now. Okay, so, but Windows we do have each other's contact. Yeah, right? Microsoft Teams. I'm going to start sending dick pics to Tanya. I am the female. They're not my dick. Wait a minute. Are you sending my dick pics? No. Okay, Why would I, I have say, your dick pics? I, you don't know. Am honestly, we we used to we're, room. Not, we're not that kind of uh, family. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> Immediate block. The fuck you aren't. No, we are not that kind of family, don't you? Don't they done. You? Oh, how, how do you how do you get around somebody blocking you? I'm fucking trolling somebody. Oh, uh, yeah. Let me see it real quick. All right, she'll send over the software or screenshots of what's going on. She'll screen share her HUD. Uh, screen <laughs> share. <Jesus. laughs> I need Don a technical is going support. To hack into the system and unblock. Don is going to pretend, proceed to then spam more dick pics to, to Tanya. Reblock. It'll become a thing of uh, getting Don to hack and then Don resending more dick pics. I just like set up a filter to recognize phallus and then just blur the image. Can a cat do that? When Don realizes that's movie? happening, she's going to send different types of genitalia from other races. She just shuts off her HUD. Do you remember in South Park the episode of the Jew race? I've yeah. never seen South Park. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She starts sending elbows. Oh my god. <laughs> well, um, shucks. But I no longer have a HUD. I have turned it off. You have driven me to solitude. You're just getting pings now. Because you're not looking at it. Uh, turn off the volume? Uh, They're still there. Knock, knock, just, knock. Just because you silence the notifications does not mean that they go away. Hey. Hey, Tanya. Hey, something's happening with my system. I don't know. I think I got hacked. You in there? Slowly opens door. She just has a photocopied picture of a penis. <laughs> <Hold it up. laughs> Whoa, this is it? <laughs> what the She's gonna burn it. <laughs> hey, thanks, Don. Yeah, of course. Puts her feet up on the table and relaxes. Ignores the lady over there. Why aren't we bold? I'm already a wanted criminal. What more do you want from me? 
some manners. My shoes are clean. Yes, but your mouth isn't. I have 12 hands at my disposal. Don't make me slap the shit out of you. Well, at least your mother was right. You are an eyesore. Wow. Mental shrug. Just continues to relax. As time goes on, you see people are making uh, video calls to their loved ones. They're sending out messages. They're talking to people. Okay, slightly related Look at question. Him. Was was Macross always an idol anime? Uh, what? technically yes. Okay, gotcha. Because I was I was I wanted to see who these characters were, so I looked it up. Oh, it's Macross. Look, it's Macross Wiki. What the fuck is this an idol anime now? I always remember for like the giant space battle robot things, not the idols. Hmm. I'm just glad he didn't put something like Tenchi Muyo Galaxy X Police or fucking Vandred as the characters. That'd be, that'd be too much. Uh, do you see this man? This man is the epitome of sexy. I mean, he's got a nice beard, yeah. People, you, you can hear the people making calls. Some are crying, some are ecstatic some are just happy this goes on for about an hour as you can hear the ship detaching from the dock you hear the cranks undoing you see the the airlock being pulled in and locked in place You see people strapping it into their chairs. You see people going about their day. As you will notice, your time here, just in, a, in the day, is there is no full gravity here. It is, in fact, half. So when you walk, you're hopping. Your jumps will send you forward to float. Oh, so we walk like we're walking on the moon. Well, more, more like, more like you're told to wear shoes that can magnetize to the floor. But once they're gone, or or once you're up off the floor, you float. So, so you can see in the halls where there are uh, handles that can pull you down the hall. Okay. So there's the so there's so there's like seams on the wall where you pop out the handle and it and it just pulls you. Got them cowboy bebop space shoes. Yeah. Which are smart because a lot of places don't have gravity. Or the gravity you want. The ship begins its final calculations. You can hear as the engines start up. And you slowly begin to move. Quinn, or, uh, Dawn and Dawn, you hear Quinn say, uh, you better come back alive. Game on. 
Whatever, Mom. You hear Pyre say you better come back alive. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma <laughs> Pyre would fuck you up, Royal. Well, yeah. You hear, that's always been the thing. You hear, you hear Andromeda tell you to be safe on all, all three of you. Which we all Thanks, know man. she would do. And probably cry. Yeah, probably. Possibly, yeah. yeah. And then, It'd be one of those mom cries where you know it's fake, but they're handing it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're like sob crying, but it's not real. Yeah. And as the ship moves, you see it slowly departing from the frontiers colony for those who have stayed here you're leaving home for the first time for those who have already traveled it was just an another place to stop by and you slowly go into the void you watch as com communication cuts off slowly as the front of the ship enters the black void the area around you begins to feel weird. And for about a minute, maybe about two or three, you're in a void of space between both the reach and where the fr frontier is where there's nothing. No stars, no lights, no sun, no moon, nothing. And it's, and you can't hear a sound. And it's pitch black. For those three minutes, you're in a void. as the ship begins to propel forward at full thrust. It all starts to come back slowly. The lights, the sounds of the of machines, the you can even hear your heart beat again. And then you find yourself in the reach, an endless void of space. find yourself let's see grab a Such a huh? Oh, yeah. I'm looking at gifts. And you find Someone did a here. amazing hit. You can see stars filling the void as it goes on for what is essentially miles. You can see nebulas of multiple colors fill in spots in large areas out. And you are now alone. in this ship. Oh. Behind you, Mill. 
and you come back to here as you can stare out into things as everything starts to settle you see people getting up out of their seats unbuckling their harnesses and off they go making sure everything is intact making sure all the suits all the supplies and everything are good make sure there's no damage Hmm. So, okay, I, I apologize if I already told this, I was kind of spacing out, but how does it feel for those inside the ship going through this? From the, from the colony to, oh, so from the colony to the reach that that little spot in between it's pitch black there's no sound there's no lights whatsoever except for what you have on the ship you, you, you can even stare out the window it's just a void hmm. it's quiet you can't hear anything So like, sound from inside the ship, no, inside the ship lights still work, but inside the ship sound doesn't? No. Sound is completely gone. Oh shit. You can hear nothing. For three, for three minutes straight, you can't even hear your heartbeat. And then, as they propel forward and the ship pushes between that barrier into the reach. It all comes back. Slowly. Not like in a, a huge burst, you're like, oh shit, beep, 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 and all that. No, it's just a slow, kind of somber comeback. You, you can even see during this time, some people are kind of holding their breath, like, oh shit. Digitate music. In the void? Yeah, while well, we're traveling through the uh, silence. Nothing. Oh, okay. Like, you could, for example, see, like, if you were, like, to make it, uh, do it and then make mu musical notes to it, you could see the notes, but there is no sound. It's just quiet. She doesn't do anything. She just kind of looks around and uh, stares out one of the windows. Hmm. As you stare out, you can see where you go from one point to the other. From that dark void to now a vast space. Stars going everywhere, nebulas. You may even see some planets, but they're super far off. So do we, do we know which planet we're going to first? You do not. Okay. We know nothing. This is where the fun starts, because this is rolls. Oh. Oh shit, this is like a West March thing. Holy shit. Oh, oh my gosh. So, westward into the stars. So, currently, you're right at the entrance to the void, or the entrance to the reach. Where you start is here. Where you go, that's the question. If you just go straight, you may find something. If you zigzag, you may f find something. That is up to you. It, oh, if there's, there's like uh, we can encounter things in between the planets mm -hmm. you, oh, okay. you have to you have to remember that this is a dark void there's there's there, there is spots of communication where you can maybe contact people but between that this is also a giant ship graveyard for people who have tried to explore who never came back 
So there, so there could be spots where you find broken down ships. There could be spots where you just see a ship is completely assimilated with whatever they found out here. Is that in the void or the reach in general? It, it, in the reach in general. Okay. Interesting. They, they do have a set location. For example, your goal is to get to a relay station that is in a, a, a pocket where they can com communicate out, but that's still four months out. So do we know how the breach got so fucked up? You don't. It, the 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 only information that you would even get off of their their database or even just over the Galaxy's internet is that it's a void of space that was never fully charted out. Would uh would I know anything different considering I I think my parents uh, went through this originally after kicking the shit out of old man and saw them. Like, did he do anything to this, or is it just always like this? It has always been like this. The galaxy you were in in season two was what they already explored through that part. Gotcha. They, when they had tried to explore further, they had hit that void, and everything just went haywire. So now, instead of the the this giant frontier spaceship that is supposed to be like a, a colony, decided instead of sending the entire colony, they they just stationed themselves there. And basically pay people who, if, and basically tell people if you can come back with anything, they'll pay you. Okay. Hmm. So. They have a charted course, however, you're in a endless void of space that has many different things. What happens from point A to point B? Who knows? But, what do you guys do now? Hmm. Uh, well, I'm, uh, are we allowed in the cockpit? Yeah, you can walk around and ask questions and everything. Okay. So I just walk over here to, okay, so what exactly is Mara Leona's position compared to the man with the explicit commander in his name? She is the captain of the ship. But it's delegated to him because he is the superior commander in combat in traveling. Okay. So, do we know yet where we are first stopping? Well, unfortunately, our raiders are not exactly foolproof. So, we are currently going by what we know off the map. Ah, and what does the map tell us? Well, from this point on, just to go forward until we hit anything. Do we have reference point to keep us going forward? No. Oh. In fact, from what the reports got, from the reports that we have, if there was at any point something as a reference... It moved. 
that is worrying. So, so when I look out at the star field surrounding us, mm -hmm. do I see like stuff moving around, or does it seem relatively static? It, it seems relatively static. Like, y y you can see some shooting stars here and there, like meteors are going by and places like that, but it's not but you're not seeing a lot of overall. Okay. Huh. Well, that's horrifying. Well, we never said it wasn't going to be scary, but it's, it's the job. I assumed the horror would come from the things we would have to face on the planets, not the fact that we have no idea where we're going in the vast abyss of space. That and the uh, space pirates. Hey, at least, at least space pirates are a tangible threat. You can point at them and attack. You can't go against space itself. Well, we're about to find out as we keep going. Here's hope it's too so yeah words. I apologize. Here's hoping we're about to find out. Don't want to wait much longer. Wait, nope. Inside, you can see most of the crew is kind—it's of, kind of doing the same thing that Sarah did. They're just kind of looking out the windows. They're just looking everywhere. Phil, what's the plan? What'd you say? <clears throat> what is our plan? Well, I just spoke with the captain. It seems we go forward until we find something. Odds only know what that something will be, and we don't even know if we're going forward, seeing as we don't have any spatial reference point. But this sounds like space. That does sound like space. At least in normal space, you can look at a star map or nearby planets to judge which direction you're going here. We, apparently, we also, just don't have that. Have we you just, ever like... considered the fact that it might not be the ship that's moving, but space when we travel? Please oh, don't do my head in like that. Well, you said that the ship isn't moving, so how can you be sure it was ever moving in the first place? No, uh, the ship is most oh. certainly moving. It's just it. that we have no idea what direction, because we have nothing to compare it to. No, I get it. It's like it's like if you remember in the uh, in Back to the Future with the hoverboards, like uh, picture regular space is like any other surface, but we're in the in the frontier, which is like taking a hoverboard over water. It doesn't have any way to grip, so you need to have that special board. So why don't we just, like, fire a light in front of us and see if we're actually moving past it? See, that would guarantee if we're moving at all. Yeah, exactly. We have enough of a reference point of the various stars, and we can use parallax to determine if we are moving at all. I don't know if you've noticed, but there aren't any stars out there. Yes, there are. I was Not just in the cockpit. We could also just, like, throw something out of the... 
bay door and see if it just stops his base and we keep moving. I trust that our navigators know the ship well enough to tell if we are moving at all. Or at least traveling in a direction, either by our own movement or the universe's movement. I <laughs> like my idea better. A straight face. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Throwing things out the airlock kind of sounds fun. Oh, hey, uh... Well, this is not your cocaine, right? That, uh, that thing could be resummoned, right? She looks at the dog. No. What do you mean? Is you it even a real don't dog? touch Oberon. Okay, but it could be resummoned, right? She doesn't even answer. That's how your magic works? I'm just saying... We, we, we could just, you know, like, throw it out and then resummon it real quick. Just real quick. Doesn't sound traumatic for it at all. I'm curious. Hold on a second. Can it experience trauma? trauma? She, she uses her bonus action to pull out a dog bone from her chest and throw it and see if the dog will go chase it. Um. Give me a second. That's an improvised weapon. Well, uh, Titania knows, tries to stop him, but Oberon just goes after the boat. It'd be real easy. I'm just saying. Oh. I have to keep him on a leash around y'all, I swear. I haven't done nothing. Wait, yeah. you think dogs like cocaine? No. We can always find out. It, I mean, it's not technically a dog, so I mean... Clearly he likes bones, because I just pulled one out of thin air and he... Crazy. It's an accurate enough simulacra of a dog that it has the natural hunt instincts. Okay, so you could resummon, is what I'm hearing. Hypothetically, this is all hypothetical, by the way, I'm just saying. If there were any event to which its form could not be maintained yeah. through physical so, damage or an anti or a, a magic nullifying effect, yes. So like the vacuum of space. If the dog was thrown out of the airlock, hypothetically, is all I'm saying. And he ceased breathing because of the vacuum of space. Would you then hypothetically be able to resummon him? Hypothetically, I could resummon as many times as I bloody want. Okay, good. For whatever reason. Oh, then that answers that. No. <laughs> All right, grab the check. <laughs> or... um, <laughs> I got you. I got you. Were you actually going to do it? I'll see. No. Okay. All right. You have no movement now. I love light spell so much. Existence. Okay, yeah. good. She won't be able to stop us now. Why do you want Hypothetically. To Why do you want to throw my fucking dog out the airlock? Because I want to see I'm... how fast no, he I dies. Don't. It's hypothetical, God. Exactly. It's hypothetical. We're not Why actually going to do it. you asking these questions if you don't have an interest? Because that's what hypothetical because questions are. what else are we going to use hypothetical scenarios for? Yeah, exactly. Like, Bing, hypothetically, if I threw a rock at you, what would happen? If you weren't, if you didn't have some interest in executing the plan, you didn't have to make it so form-fitted to our current situation. You could say, oh, I slice its throat, oh. or oh, I use some na magic nullifying effect, so, not to throw it out in the airlock painted, into the pits of space. If I painted your fur, hypothetically, would it stick, or would it wash off? Yes, depending on the environment and the type of paint and a lot of factors. Hypothetically, are your boobs boobs or is it just fur? Wow. Also, how are you growing actual hair in comparison to your fur? I don't understand the difference. Yeah, how does that work? It's what my species does. I is what is. <laughs> And about the boobs question, yes, I'm a mammal. I do feed my young from my own milk. Thus, these things are functional breasts. Hypothetically, if I went... <laughs> no, stop. Hypothetically, if I were to shove my paw up your ass, how far could I get before you die? Oh, you want to find out? No. I it depends if we get pretty far. Use... Will you make that hypothetical a reality? No, not yet, Wink. at least. 
Oh, not yet. Okay. I see you. I see you. Clearly, you haven't bought her dinner yet. I gave her bacon. I gave her bacon that bacon. Don made the bacon. It's fine. You just need to make some catnip beside your cocaine. Oh, true. Don, we could do that, right? Uh, yeah, we could probably do that. I bet. Lord, old lady. <laughs> by the you way, did this. you chose this, by the way. Did, I did. Stuck. Stuck in this ship with them. Stuck in the can for four months with these degenerates. I love that I can uh, pull improvised weapons out of that gym in my chest because now I can do all sorts of silly shit. Alright. We oh. will. Oh. oh. Pulls out a slinky. <laughs> Pulls out a slinky from her chest. That was her improvised weapon when she was three. Could you imagine being attacked by a slinky? It would be the weirdest be thing ever. For How did it hit you in the eye? For all you know, there could be a planet of slinky people. What does that? What would that even look like? Would that, would that be like that rope golem from Sekiro, except slinkies? Animated slinkies. Wait, question. Mm -hmm. That's the Can question. we go to a planet and decide to commit genocide? Oh, <laughs> do we even need to go to the planet? Yeah. Oh, that? you can we, make the decision. We just but use the ship. I highly doubt genocide is within anything resembling our means. Oh, it's actually uh, quite excuse easy. You. So I'm an all alchemist. we have to do, all we have to do is one, find a meteorite. Two, <laughs> find a way to drag it, and then three, get to high enough speeds that it uh, blows the fuck out of the planet. That's less genocide and more ex exterminatus. Well, no, no, see, that that it, that would be genocide. Poison can just concoct a bio weapon and we throw a leash on it. Exactly. And just we just have it. to contaminate the water. We just, <laughs> just contaminate the water. What the fuck? We, we, we go back, we grab Victor, and we use him to use as biological weapons. Which one's Victor again? Thumb corner. Thumb corner. The little what? Little... Oh, you weren't there oh, for that. They don't know about the cum corner. I don't... Okay, if I inform me about the cum corner. Oh, God. There was a tiny-sized living ectoplasmic cum ooze. Where and why? Because a man come in a corner. Men came in a corner a lot, and it made the uh, uh, slime, and then we burned it. And what then... is th is this like where they fucking come in the jar with the My Little Pony statuette, and right, it just it turns sentient? It was just Victor's corner. He came in it a lot. Victor's little corner, and then I cleansed the corner. And then what Victor got fire. mad about it. What campaign was this? Oh, that well, was this right. one. That was season one. Ah, okay. Mm hmm. I guess I did miss that. Yeah, like episodes yep. 1 to 6. You, in fact, missed the cum corner. <laughs> I missed the cum corner. You, you also missed me molding Earth staircase up a fucking mountain. Oh, I guess okay. that's a viable use of that spell. Mm -hmm. It's actually yeah. the best use of that spell. Yeah, fuck difficult terrain. We can just make it through. True. Oh, my favorite spell. So many units. I use mold earth to make a, a fucking earth snowball and I throw it at you. What? You fly and bury your face. Mm hmm. You see? Infinite pockets in. Also, did the, uh, the soundlessness stop after a while? Or? Yeah. Once you got past the void, you were good. All right. Did you talk to the uh, captain of the ship at all, weird cat lady? Yes, that's how I got my information about the weirdness of the space we're in. So why didn't you ask what kind of job we'd have to do? We're explorers. We probably because have to explore that's the not what was on my mind. I, yes. 
it didn't occur to me to ask. Hopefully, we don't know what planet we're going to until we happen upon it. Well, yeah, sure, but do we have to do anything while we're traveling there? Did anyone um, ask? Unless we were otherwise informed, I guess. I don't think so. I think we just enjoy the ride. As I'm just not can. gonna ask so they don't give me responsibilities. I mean, you'll probably get to do That's one way of doing it, I guess. I mean, you did sign a waiver. Did, but yeah, but I didn't really read that waiver. Uh huh. Does anyone want to read that waiver? Nope. I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> sure. We'll do have, you have an all about it when it comes up. When she yells at me for it, I'll do it. <laughs> Some things never change. <laughs> Some <Something. laughs> I had to get something from Pyre. Peter's still on the table, she's still, like, leaning back the whole time. There's nothing going on. It is as you are sit sitting there at the table. You hear over the, uh, intercom. They will now begin the first jump. During this time, all personnel get to work. That's my cue. I'm gonna go make potions. Yeah, I'm uh, thinking that this has to do with the thing. She will also go into the bedroom. And... Oh no! Oh no! You guys are handled or handed mops and buckets. You are directed to clean and help move things and do repairs. I will she, move liquids she, around in vials. She doesn't move her ass, but uh, you see uh, purple hands start. Clean the floor with the bog, with the muck with the bog. I can't say words right now. I think we're trying to hand a mop to one of the purple hands because she is better at lifting than using a mop. There's 12 of them. Yeah, she'll handle them. <laughs> <over. laughs> Fucking Fantasia looking ass. <laughs> yeah, she's got her, her hands behind her back, feet are up, she's just leaning back and she's got her eyes closed. Boy, it's gonna suck when that uh, coffin goes on strike. Oh, well. At least I'll still get to flavor it for out of combat uses. It's gonna suck when that com when that coffin goes on strike. I still have prestidigitation. It's okay. All right, but Ron is gonna cast mage hand to clean for him. I do that. I do have that. <laughs> but as they commence their first jump. That's where I'll end it. Oh. Hell yeah, RP session. Woo! Sorry about the other one. I'm just half awake. You're gonna make me get a long to observe it. It's like I have to do my chores. Yep. Ain't no you free doing, ride. You doing okay over there, Letty? Huh? What? I said you're having trouble focusing, so I'm. Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm good. Just tired. Okay. 